After driving people around in a limo for many years, I've decided to turn my life around and move on to better things. This is my challenge to become a millionaire. Uh oh, I got the mayor. Did I tell you, you, you look good in the helmet, man. Oh, I'm, I'm taking this thing off. Oh no, there's a cow in the dealership, guys. Don't flip it. Oh, oh. I think this is a police station that's like abandoned. Here we go, here we go, here okay, we go. Okay, steering wheel back to the left. Holy biscuits. So the dog, I don't know where he went. Ah, you just gotta throw some food out there. Did we come up with a name? I gave, I texted you a few names. Yeah, I, I man, I, I think we did come to one. Remember that first one you texted me? That was my uh, favorite. Butkus? No, no, no. I guess second. Oh, Buster. Buster. You like Buster? Oh, yes, I do. Okay, Buster. we're we're going to go with Buster. It's easy to remember. I think Steve is in here right now. Oh, he finally got to work, huh? Oh, jeez, he's working hard. He pulled an all-nighter, boss, man. Look at that. Oh, is he's it? He's going is it crazy. Done, you think? Yeah, he's uh he's a funny guy. Crack the door. There she is. Steve, good to see you back from vacation, man. You knocked this thing out of the park. That thing is clean. Oh, yeah. I like how it's not crazy lifted, too. I mean, it's lifted to fit those huge tires and rims, but it's not anything crazy. Here we go. Open up all the doors, man. All the doors? Okay. Pop the hood. Yeah, let's check it under there. There you go. Six doors. That is crazy. I was kind of hoping Steve would get it done today because, you know, we have our camping trip today. And look at, turn, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It just came in this morning. An ATV rack for the six door. All right, boss man, use those mirrors, man. This is this looks a little rough. It is a little rough. This thing's long, man. Yeah, it's literally a limo. Let's there you go. Back. Looks good. Straight back. Cat, okay, here we go. That'll work good. Why don't you pull forward all the way up the side by side or ATV? Spencer. What's up? That is uh you you're currently not on the ATV or a side by side. This is a This is a forklift, and I'm going to grab the ATV off the rack. Oh, I see. Come I on, see. man. If we got some snow, we wouldn't take the snowmobiles. That's true, but yeah, we don't have any snow, and that would be a pretty uh -oh. cold camping uh -oh. trip. Oh, tipping a little bit. All right, I'm going to grab the 2500 here. I haven't fired this up in a week. We'll go hook up to a trailer, and I'm going to pull the side by side. The drop hitch on this thing, I think it was like 18 inches, which is absolutely crazy, and I think kind of dangerous, but the most we're ever going to pull is like light toys like this. I just got a crazy text from my wife, and uh, she's pregnant. What? Yeah, I know. So uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. Okay, yeah, man, you go take care of that. I yeah, will, uh, yeah, no worries. Thanks for getting the truck done, man. No worries. Okay, I, I, I got a run. Congratulations. Thank you. See ya. All right, we got the side-by-side -side loaded up. Let's throw a few straps on it. I didn't realize it, boss, man. Look at what? my trailer. Uh, that's on the ground. It'll just buff out. Honestly, it's barely scraping, and obviously we're going to have enough power to pull it. It's not that much weight. Well, what do you say we head out, big cat? Yes, sir. Let's start looking at some trails and hit the road. Where are you at, boss, man? You're a little slower than me. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting used to this thing. It's a big vehicle. And remember, boss, man, there can be bears out here. We're far enough out of town, but we're still close enough to the woods where there can be bears. I hope there's no bears. Just make sure that if you're going to... If we're going to eat and cook tonight, we just got to hang it from a tree really far away from camp. Little hill climb here. Come on. Got the momentum. I'm coming. Okay, we made Making it. Making it. Yeah. Yeah, just follow my trail and we got to figure out. I've never been here before. Just got to figure out where to camp. I better just shut her down here. There we go. I think we're a little overkill with our vehicles, but I, it looks pretty cool. These are going to get the job done. That's for sure. Let's park the trucks and let's go rip for a bit. Okay, but wait, before that, I, I brought your cash because... I forgot to give it to you. So, oh, here's the parking garage money? Yeah, here's a thousand. Two days in a row. Nice. Hopefully, Jeremiah's doing good. I never stopped by the gas station, but yeah, I should probably text him, say I'm not coming in today. I'll follow you. Okay. Hey, here we go. I gotta grab you a helmet, man. You gotta at least oh. wear a helmet on that. Four wheelers are, I think they're the most dangerous, they say. Man, what the heck is this thing? It was a helmet that I had. My, my daughter does horseback riding, and so it's like one of those. There's some pretty cool hill climbs over here. Oh, I hit a tree. That was fast. Okay, hey, boss, man. That's that's why you got a helmet on. There we go, man. We are climbing some mountains right here. Getting any air? We, uh, no, nothing too jumpy like that. Okay, I just hit a tree. I was looking at the views. I think we can see the dealership from here. You think we can? Yeah, I'm trying to get to the high spot. We'll see if we can find it. All right, let's see. Yeah, probably not. There's too many trees in the way. All right, I'll race you around the field. All right. I think you're a little faster than I am. Go, go, go. See you later. Here we go. Which way? Left or right? Uh, go straight, straight. Straight. Full speed, man. We're reading each other's minds. Uh-oh, I got some air. Oh, you got a lot of air. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hold on. Where did you go? Land it. Yes, I landed it. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good, man. All right, where are you at? You got to do it, too. Send it off. Oh, jeez. Boss, man, oh. hold on. Good. Oh, there you um, go. This wasn't the plan. You landed in the stairs. That's why we got to wear helmets, man. 
How do I get this thing out of here? Oh, just put it in reverse. That'll, that'll roll right out. Here we go. Let's see how much faster we are. This is, I'm starting from bottom of a hill, though. Move it or lose it, sister. Haha, <laughs> he tried to hit me. There he is. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, Dude, watch out um, for the grill. I don't know if the grill is going to work now. It'll work. I'll, I'll get it to fire up. Okay. Go back, run to your truck, grab your cooler. All right. I'm going to ride this thing there. Did I tell you? You look good in the helmet, man. Oh, I'm, I'm taking this thing off. All right. Here's your steak. Here's mine. Let's eat up. Thank you. Ah, that was good, man. You got any dessert? I don't have dessert. We need I got some dessert. granola bars. That counts. Are you sure you want to sleep in your camper or your uh, truck? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. That doesn't feel like camping, though. Okay, fine. I'll sleep on the table over here. Okay. And you, yeah, you didn't bring a sleep. I think I have a spare sleeping bag. Awesome, man. We got the wood stove all fired up. I got some spare wood around back. So if you're getting cold and the fire's starting to die down tonight, just wake up, toss some more wood on it. Oh, no. There's a cow in the dealership, guys. It's got horns. This isn't good. Oh, no. Do not smash. No, don't smash it. Okay, uh, I got to do something. Buster, don't go towards the cow. He could hurt you. I'm going to get him chased after me. Come on. Come on. Hit. Hit. Come on. Hit. All right. Juke him. Juke him around the BMW. Let's see. Can we open up this door? How do, how do farmers herd their cows? I need like some food. Oh, he's trying to. Oh, come on. Come on. Tap him on the butt. Okay. Good thing I'm wearing a red shirt. He should chase after me. Oh, no. There we go. We dodged him. Okay. Oh, real quick. Shut the door. Do not come back in. Come on. Shut the door. Shut the door. Oh, he just hit the Kubota. How the heck did a cow get into our dealership? And he totally, it's like a bull through a China shop. I think he wrecked two or three of our cars. Oh no. How did he flip the Kubota in a trailer? Dude, this bull. Oh no. He's coming for me. He's coming for me. Run, run, run. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Watch out. Get behind the tow truck. No, don't go for the six door. I'm going to sell that today. Don't go. Okay. Thank goodness. Well, it looks like we're going to be selling some cars on discount. So if you guys are interested for some light, uh, lightly damaged vehicles, uh, boss, man, you're wearing a new shirt. I am wearing a new shirt. Uh, what happened? Hey, don't worry about it. Here's a cup of coffee. Thank you. Okay. What the heck? Yeah. You wouldn't believe me if I told you, but a there, wait, 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 wait. What's wrong with the BMW? Yeah. The BMW got completely smashed. What is this? Yep. It's on the snowmobile. I know. I know. Don't worry. That one's yours. Okay. Give me an explanation, man. Okay, I got it all on video and security cameras and everything. There was a bowl that came in here. Somehow all the doors were locked and I had to use the key to get in. But somehow, a, like a cow, a bowl was in here tearing things up. Wait, wait, wait. Is this like a dog at your homework type of thing? No, but it sounds like it. Yes. Let's start cleaning things up. I'm going to jump in the tow truck and let's flip over the Kubota I'm thinking first. And then... Yeah, I don't know. There's like two or three cars completely almost destroyed. The Mustang, the Mustang Mach-E is destroyed. He was standing on it. And then, yeah, he moved the whole entire BMW. The insurance company's not going to believe this. First the break and now this. It's all on camera, man. Uh, yeah, but they're going to think we like photoshopped it or something. Or they're going to think we, oh uh, yeah, well, I don't know. We got to somehow explain how it got in. But anyway, uh, oh, what is that? Okay, where's my hook? Uh, I don't know. This is your tow truck. You take it? I didn't take your hook. Why would I take your hook? There was the one you were telling me when you were like in the middle of the road. What was that? Oh, that was, uh, that's right. That was like a side-by-side -side Kubota. Oh, it was girl and didn't she, she run out diesel. of gas? Yeah, she, yeah, she ran out of diesel in her side-by-side -side and I filled it up and I, let's see. I think she has you. my hook. She would be the last one. And as we're going by the station here, let's, let's go see how much we made. See what Jeremiah is up to. Oh. Jeremiah must be on lunch break here. Let's see how much we made. What's in the register? All right, subtract what we leave in the register. Boss, man, I made 1,200 bucks between two days. That's pretty good. There you go. Not too bad. Oh, yeah, because you didn't get it the other day when we were camping. No, and speak of that, where's my money for the parking garage? Oh, uh, okay. I have it in my trunk. All right, here you go. Here's $1,100. Score one for the boys back home, guys. We are making good money now. We're going to be a millionaire in no time. All right, man, let's go get your hook. And it's right here, right on the left here. Oh, I see it. Lights on here. Should we just, like, take it? Do you want to knock on the door? Uh, let's see. Well, yeah, it's exactly where I left it. Yeah, I'm just going to take it. There we go. And we got her attached. Okay, let's head back. Let's start cleaning up the dealership. There we go. I'm winching. Okay, I am too. Nice and slow. Get those tires to catch here. I'll watch out for the trailer. There we go. Dude, that was too easy. Man, was that really worth that much money? Dude, this could it went easy, but have you ever been on one that's hard? Okay, fine. Here you go. 
I got it from your truck. Here's 700. Perfect. Thank you. So we got the BMW to fire up. Here's the Mustang Mach-E. They all still operate. Brakes work. I mean, the main components, but the bodies are severely damaged. There's a lot we got to have Steve go and look over before we can actually sell them. And then this sled got totally smashed. Let's see if it fires up. Yeah, fired up just fine. So it seems like most of this stuff is cosmetic damage. Oh, what the heck? Who is that? I don't even know what kind of tractor that is. It's, it looks like a new haul in something. What in tarnation is that thing? Crazy contraption right there. Oh, look at that. It's, it comes all the way down. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's an olive harvester? Great. Oh, hi, sir. Oh, you're here for the appointment. So this is a uh, Ram 2500. It has the Cummins turbo diesel in it. I think it is the high output Cummins in it. So it's going to have a lot of power. And then we did the full lift kit in house and the whole like nine yards rims tires. Yep, he found the horn. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. Uh, one thing I didn't get is a copy of his license. I didn't see if he had a driver's license. I probably should have because he was driving a grape harvester or olive harvester, whatever that thing is. He drove it down the road. So who knows if he can even drive a car? Legally, that is. I'm sure he could drive one, but just legally. Okay, so it's listed for 70. No, I, I can't do 60, man. That That's too low. That's way too low. We put a lot of money into it. I can do 65. Meet in the middle. 65 all cash. I can do it. All right, man. Shake on it. Appreciate you. And there he goes. He loves the train horn. He said that's what sold him on it. So you got it sold? Yeah, he was very serious. Got it sold. 65 cash. All right. Nice. You put the money by the safe. Yep. And so that means I get 32.50 from you. Yeah. You, I'm assuming you already checked that. Uh, no. Can you I? didn't? No. Mm, I was I waiting for you. you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here, grab it. Count it carefully. I'll let you do it. I, I trust you. Okay. That's yeah, why I'm watching. I, no, I was eating. I was waiting for you to see the full 65, and then I was going to grab my 5% commission. Okay. Well, there we go. Thank you, boss man. Uh, yeah, he's going to be back to pick up the new Holland, so it should all be good. Okay. Yeah, that thing is uh, interesting. I've never seen one of those before. Yeah, he said it was a grape or olive harvester. I don't know. One of the two. Maybe it, it probably does both. Yeah, I think this one's for olives with my minimal knowledge, but it well, does say olive on the side. All right, man, I'm the only one selling things around here. I think my commission has to go up a bit. What about 10%? Uh, yeah, no. When's the no last chance. time you sold a vehicle? Uh, when's the last time you owned a business? Uh, like today and yesterday and the day before that? Okay, your businesses, that's different. If you if you want to buy the dealership from me, we can talk about that, but I don't think you got the funds for that. So I'm come back there. to me when you're rich. I'm getting there. I will. What, what's your okay. what's your asking price? Just off topic. It's going to be well over 100K. So, yeah, I don't think okay. you're there yet. That's doable. That's close. I'm close. But anyway, boss, man, I'm, I'm leaving. I, I sold okay. my car. I'll talk to you later. See you. Well, guys, I packed up most of my stuff here, and I'll explain later today why. But we got to get to work. This house, I'm going to shut it for one last time of us living here. Yo, Buster, come get some food, man. Let's get you fed here. Come on, Buster. Eat up, boy. Here it comes. He knows when the dinner bell's ringing. All right, boss man, what's going on? Hello, hello. Welcome. You are a few minutes late. What's up with that? I was just feeding Buster. Oh, okay, okay. Well, welcome. I have some money for you, like always. Yes, sir. Here is $1,122 for the oh, parking garage. In one day. Yes, sir. I'm hoping eventually my gas station makes more than that in one day. Yeah, who knows? Did you get money from there yet? How much no, are you making? No, I haven't. Uh, it didn't pay that good this past week, like compared to what the park garage is. But yeah, hopefully it's starting to pick up here. Okay. Well, anyways, speaking of picking up, we actually got to drop off some vehicles that are being picked up. Okay. We recently had a little bit of an incident. Yeah, uh, I was know, the one the, here. Yeah, that, that whole cow situation kind of rampaging and attacking our dealership. Yep. So, yeah, the insurance company says that they're going to come. Well, we're going to go drop off these vehicles and they'll, you know, reimburse for everything because we didn't even have them for that long. Okay. So you, you, you told them the, you total them out pretty much? Yeah, more or less. They just kind of said that if it is salvageable, they'll deal with that. I'll grab the semi truck and we'll get her loaded up. But first thing we got to do is get the old boy off here, the 3500. Now, you think, you know, you need to drop the ramps, but not with this thing. You just back her right off like it's nothing. You don't even notice the bump. And yesterday, I sold our six door, the Ram 2500. So I think I'm going to be putting this F450 up on our display stage so we're gonna get this all polished up washed up and then hopefully we can get her sold put her online there we go looks like yeah man just drive that up t 
the everything still runs even after the cow like smashed it and he literally flipped over this Maki mustang which is the electric car which is pretty crazy but everything still runs fine it's just cosmetically damaged the body panels are ruined all that how do i get up on this thing you just floor it okay not you got to make sure the skis go above the deck man there i'll give you a put there you go oh not that much i need some help there you go floor it floor it come on there we go nice all right, we should be able to fit all three on there. If worst case scenario, we can lift the snowmobile up to the top deck. I mean, the thing only weighs 500 pounds. Oh, I'm doing it right now. Here, I'll give you a push. I guess, yeah, I guess we can damage these things a little bit more. No one will know. All right, fold up the ramps. You're trucking them? Yep, I'll bring them down. And four, okay. Are you sure you can do this by yourself, man? Oh, man, I can do this no problem. This I don't think you've easy. ever driven it by yourself, or at least with me, not around. Well, let's go put this out on display real quick, and I gotta get it like on the computer i'm gonna get it for sale on facebook marketplace craigslist like all the like cars.com all the places people go online to look for cars and then obviously we'll put a like sticker on this as well so if anybody local that drives by wants it too they can see it here most of the people that buy cars from us see it posted it online but it doesn't hurt to you know kind of put it out attract people to come in and take a look there's boss man let's cut in front of him earlier i mentioned guys that Oh, geez, that truck is awesome. It looks so cool. I got all my stuff out of my house and all packed up. Well, that's because I'm going to be renting it out, and I'm just about to close on a house. We're working out the final numbers, the final negotiations. It's just up the road. So before I show you guys that house, let's go in, see how much we made at the gas station. We made $1,400. That's a new record. Well, let's head down to the house. There's a bunch of deer in the road back there. Holy biscuits. Oh, there's another deer in the road. That's not a deer. That's a cow. Hit the brakes. Hit the brakes. Wait a second. Is that the same cow that stormed through our dealership? Oh, he just ran over a car. I got to call boss man. Uh, let's see. Boss man, boss man, the dispenser. The cow's coming back for the dealership. He's heading your way. Wait, wait. The cow's coming back for the dealership? I'm driving down the road to look at the new house that I'm thinking about buying, and I'm on the main road, and the cow is heading east. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm actually really nervous about the cow but this is the place now i won't have a spot to put my truck here but i always keep it down at the dealership anyway let's open up these garages so it's a two-car garage you could probably fit three if you slid one in the middle so everything is upstairs from here here's a living room and the kitchen i mean things are just small i don't need it too big here's the bedroom i got some closets in a in a bathroom that's pretty much it so yeah i kind of like the layout i like how easy small don't have to maintain a bunch of you know yard or anything and the location is great by the way guys if this is familiar to you it's because we we're here the other day picking up a go-kart this was boss man's buddy's house and it sounds like he's gonna let me keep the snap-on toolbox in the garage that would be awesome the realtor just texted back the seller's accepted at thirty thousand. well now we own two houses and again the house that i'm living in now well i just moved out today but my old house is just gonna be like a short-term rental and you can make quite a bit of money doing it so that's kind of the goal make money from my house the gas station the parking garage and now i have a new house too so we're working our way up to being a millionaire all right let's get pulled in oh my goodness boss man's hiding inside there's the cow we need to give this cow a name okay he's not too aggressive today but i'm gonna keep my distance he's up on boss man's truck man, sir, boss come, man. come, yeah come. let me in shut it man this cow is a troublemaker he's literally in the bed of my truck i don't know if it can even handle that amount of weight okay he's not going crazy and he's actually fairly relaxed so i'm okay with it last time he was in here boss man it was like a bull in a china shop my biggest worry is that buster is right nearby see where's he at buster it's kind of nice how we have windows we can see everything yeah as long as these things are strong enough to handle oh yeah they're, they're tempered glass and they're double layer yeah, no, I know. I, I remember the build when I got this thing built. There we go. He's coming. Oh, boss man's truck. Okay, okay. Come on, hit. Come on, hit. There we go. Get out of here. I just gave him a few pats on the back, and he's... Oh, okay. He's got some hops on him. Okay, there you go. Go eat the grass. I think he likes the dealership. Seems like he's attracted to it. Is he gone? Yeah, boss man. I got him away, and I called him Milky, and he kind of perked up. Milky. Okay, we'll add that on the list of names. I, I don't know. It sounds like kind of too nice of a name. Oh no, my alarm's going off. That's not good. What time is it? Oh no, it's 7.45. I gotta be working 15 minutes. It's a five minute drive. What, in tarnation? Oh no, back up, back up. I'm still wearing red. Oh no, the cow, what is he doing? All right, buddy, nice and easy. Milky, no, don't, don't run for me. No, no, no. Oh no, this isn't a good start to my day. I'm late to work and I got a bull chasing me. All right, he's off. That's so weird. And how did he get into my garage? What in tarnation? Jeremiah, what's going on, man? Open up the register. Let's see what we got. 
Holy biscuits, another new record, 1400 bucks. Good job, Jeremiah. Thanks for being such good customer service. Everybody's leaving good reviews online. All right, man, I'll talk to you later. Have a good day. All right, boss man, boss man, what's going on? Just in time. A few seconds late, but I'll count it. You're within the minute. I had a cow in my garage. I couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did you say you had a cow in your garage? Yeah, Milky. He was in my garage. That cow is still getting up all in your business. I think he's attracted me or something, but hey, what did we make at the, uh, at the parking garage? All right, all right. You don't need some money. Okay. Well, you got $1,400. Score one for the boys back home. Another good day. Well, boss man, I'm sure you aren't selling any cars today. Can I use your... I, I really could use your help, actually. Okay, and why you gotta diss my business? Like, this is a great business. We've made lots of money. Like, we haven't gone bankrupt, so that says something. Okay, well, the cars move out here slower than molasses. But anyway, I need your help building a garage because I have too many cars, not enough garage space, and I want a spot where I can put all my yard tools and stuff like that. Like, you want a garage or you want, like, a shed? I can't build another garage, but, yeah, like a small out shed. All right, guys, I got the trailer hooked up on the back of the little monster truck, and it seems like it's pulling it pretty good. No issues there. I thought with the lift, it would, you know, kind of pull the trailer a little weird, but I'd say that looks pretty good to me. All right, man, let's get that loaded up. But I got somebody to book it, and the payment just came in this morning, but I had it listed for 400 a night, and they booked it for five nights, so two grand. I thought that was pretty good. Yeah, man, that's really good. Congrats on that one. Okay, so you're gonna help me lift this thing up into here? Yep, ready? Come on, I'm lifting, I'm doing all the work. It's leaning towards your side. Man, I'm trying, this thing's heavy. Oh, okay. That'll be good. What are, what are we doing about this little dangly bit? Just fold your tailgate up. Okay. Thank you, 600 bucks for everything. Wood has gone up a bunch, like two years ago, three years ago. This wouldn't have been that expensive, but obviously the equipment is expensive to rent too. All right, let's get the skid loader loaded up. Heck, look at that. When you fold down the ramps, it just lifts the whole trailer up. That's pretty slick. We strap down the skid loader and then also the wood. We should be good to go. Heck, that's a lot of weight back there. Those skid loaders are not light. They make them heavy duty nowadays. Dang, we're popping wheelies. I think it's just, I might have lifted the truck a little too tall and now it's not too much of a work truck. There we go. Okay, the skid loader's drifting a little bit back there. We should be good. Uh oh, boss man, do not move. And the cow is back. Don't worry, I'll, 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 come on, Milky. Come on, Milky. Calm down, just get up and out of here. Dude, he's like attracted to me or, whoa, there's some reindeer. They're flying. This is too, getting too crazy. We need animals out of this city. Yeah, we Cats have a cow in only. the middle of my driveway and we have reindeers. What? They must be practicing for Christmas, don't you think? The cows for Christmas? No, the, the reindeer the are flying. They're practicing. Wait, does this cow give Santa the milk? Uh, you know what? We can't jump down any clue. Okay, Milky. He seems pretty calm right now. What are cows like? They, here's some grass. Here, pull some grass. All right, boss man ran to the neighbor's yard. Come on, Milky. Eat the grass. It's good. All right, now we're going to give him a big old slap on the cheeks. Come on, get. Come on. Hit. There he goes. He's off. So where are we uh, building this thing? Thinking over here? Yeah, I'm thinking right on the corner. Just set it back a bit. Might take this bush out. I'm going to leave the tree. I like the tree here. Offers nice shade and stuff. And the squirrel is play. There we go. Come on, big skip. This is a really big bucket for this skid loader. I think they put the wrong bucket on for me today. Now I'm going to knock out this bush. Just come in, dig underneath. There we go. Perfect. All right, boss man, I got the wood. Get to work. Put on your working gloves. I don't want to get sweaty. You're going to get sweaty. Let's go. Get to work. Ah, fine. All right, guys, here's the shed. And we got the paint color to match the house. So I think it looks good. Looks like it was here all along. Yes, sir. Let's check this thing out. That looks pretty cool. Is there a light switch? You just pull the string? I don't know. It, it might be one of those automatic sensors. There we go. Nice. All right, so oh. I'm thinking... If I can fit my mower in here, I'd love to, but we'll see. I love playing with the string, man. All right, you're like a cat. Quit playing with the string, man. But it's fun. It makes the light turn on and off. Do I need to get a laser pointer out no. and then you chase it up the wall? No, if you do that, I'm going to call the cow over. How do you call right. the cow over? Just curious. Uh, Just, you know, uh, milk 101. Trust me, I can call it. Okay, I think I can get the mower in here. Well, it does articulate, so you should be able to squeeze it in. Make sure to turn off the light in there. Uh, yep. Perfect. All right, get her closed. That's the mower shed right there. And I can put all my rakes, all my shovels, you know, on the side, get all that all organized, extension cords, stuff like that. I thought it was a garage, man. You called it a shed. I need to know, is this a shed or a garage? You tell me. Like, we have a vehicle It's a in shed. There. It's a shed. 
It's their ship. Okay. Yeah. Got the Kubota dropped off. All the paperwork's done. And I'm going to head back. I think that ship's going to come super in handy. And Boss Man gave me a nice hand today. It would have taken me, you know, three times as long if he didn't help me out. So that was nice. Oh, no, guys. I can't sleep. There's a big thunderstorm. And I hate thunderstorms. Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. Did the house just get hit by lightning? Okay, I'm going to get up here. Turn the lights on. This isn't good. Dang it. The electricity just went out. Okay, guys, I'm going to hopefully see you in the morning. Let's keep our heads down. Okay, guys, I ended up getting some sleep. Let's grab some croissants here. Okay, hopefully. Oh, power's back on. Thank goodness. I didn't even try it in my room. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Is the shed okay? Oh, the shed looks totally fine. I think a few branches hit it when it fell down. But this tree, it must have got hit by lightning. I'm thinking I'm just going to stack it on the side of the road. Then typically what happens is the city comes by when there's like severe storm damage. And then they come and, you know, kind of pick up all your debris. But you got to put it on the curb. Well, this is another nice thing about the truck. If there's ever a huge flood that happens, I think I'll be the one rescuing everybody. I can literally just drive through the water. It'll be like a boat. Hey, sir, can I help you pump your gas this morning? Here are Man, it's, it's me. Oh. I changed my coat and you just forget who I am? Kind of, yeah. You wear the same thing every day. Well, it was a very terrible night, so I decided to put a coat on. Okay, fair enough. Well, sir, let me, uh, it'll be $10. I'll, I'll wash your windows for you. What? There I don't want go. my windows washed. That's five for that side and then five for the other. What? Is, is this, a, what? Okay. Is there this how go. you do business? Scrub it in. All right, that'll be $10, sir. All right. Here, here you go. <laughs> thank you, like thank you. Scam. I'm leaving. Oh, it looks all clean now. Okay, I'll see you at work, buddy. There he goes. Jeremiah's tearing it up. Let's go see how much you made today. 900 bucks. I think this storm, he didn't get much business last night, probably because of the bad weather. There we go. Another day, another dollar. All right, man. What's the plan for today? Well, the electricity's out. So, oh, dang I, it. yeah, I, I can't get the lights to work, but like certain things are working. So I, I don't know what's going on. It's very, very weird. Can I grab you a pop or something? I, I'm thirsty after working. Yeah, yeah go for it, man. Uh, grab me a Diet Coke. Okay, let's see. Diet Coke. I'll get a uh, Dasani water. Did you did you notice anything? What? L look. Employee of the month boss, man? Yeah, so like, oh, you know, wait, like, wait, wait. as the owner of the business, my job is to set someone as employee of the month. And I was like thinking about it the past month, like all the sales, and yep. who's worked the hardest and everything. All I got to say to you, man, is next month, just try working a bit harder and maybe you can get your name up there. That's right. Yeah, it probably won't ever be because you're the employee and I'm the employer then, huh? Uh, oh, the spell check wasn't working. I'll, I'll get that up. Employer updated. of the month. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll be employer of the month next month. Probably. If you want to buy the business, we've talked about this. Fair just... enough. I just need to save up some money. Okay. What's the plan? What can I help with? All right. So I'm thinking we just kind of close the doors here today. Cause again, stuff just really isn't going to be that useful. The garage won't close either because of this, which is really annoying. Oh, okay. Security cameras working? I, I don't know. Again, some stuff's working, some stuff's not. This isn't like, good, man. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if we can leave too much. If we can't lock the door and security cameras aren't working, let's make sure the safe is clean. How much am I getting paid? Oh, yeah. I got to pay you. You okay. might as well pay me that way if somebody comes in and steals. There's just less money. Mm, yeah, do, like the safe still just is going to be locked. Like it, that doesn't, whatever. Who knows? Who knows? Guess how much I'm going to pay you. $943.23. If that's all you want, then sure. Yeah, I'll just give you... Here, let me put that back. There you no. go. No? Oh, you, you want the full amount? Full amount. Here's $1,600. New record, boys. Let's go. It's getting easier every day. Yes, sir. Well, yeah, you don't have to do anything. Okay, the plan is grab your favorite vehicle here, and we're going to go to this really cool off-road park that was just made. All right, that's easy. Taking the... Off-road go-kart. Go this is sick. This is all, what do you ride up it? Skateboard? Whatever you want. I'm gonna try this thing. Oh, be careful, man. That doesn't look like enough speed. Oh, oh. boss man, hold on. Oh, yeah, you're right. You don't got much of a runway. Here we go, I'm flooring it. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Come on, it kind of curls to the right. Oh no, I can't, I'm getting dizzy. Oh, we made it. Watch out, there's a bush, here we go. Okay. Take two. I got way more speed this time. Okay, here we go. Oh, curl back over. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Man, you're bad at this. I know. It's kind of tricky. I Here, I should try it in first person. I bet I can do it a lot better this way. Here we go, guys. Full steam ahead. I bet we can do it. Come on, floor it. Stay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. There we go. We made it. Okay, that camera angle gets a little weird. Speed is what you need. Boogity, boogity, boogity. He's going, boys. Floor it, boss man. I'll catch you.
Oh, that was so cool. Here we go. This thing's almost too wide. He's got the power, that's for sure. Here we go. Up and over. Heck yeah. It feels like monster jam in this thing. Oh no, guys. Jeremiah just called the gas station employee. He wouldn't tell me exactly what happened for fear that I would be really mad. Okay, it's right down here. I don't see any smoke in the air, so it's not on fire and it didn't blow up. I guess that's one thing. Oh, there's police lights. Dang it. Steve? What are you yeah, doing here? Basically, Don't I tell was, me uh, this is your car, man. It, it might be. I, I was driving, and then there was this random cow in the road, and then all of a sudden, boom, my car is like this, and I don't oh. know what to do. Please don't be mad at me. It wasn't my fault. So, Steve, you said a cow walked in front of you? That's what you swerved? Yeah, exactly. Was it white and black? Was it like, did it have horns? Yeah, the cow had, it was black and white. It had horns. It just, like, it just looked like a normal cow. I don't know. A normal cow. Okay, well, what I'm trying to say, Steve, is boss man and I have been seeing this cow everywhere. It was in my garage. It was in the dealership like a week ago now. It's been turning my life upside down, and now it caused you to crash into my gas station. Ooh, this sounds like a karma cow. You know what like we call this cow? Oh, okay, that's a good... We could call this cow Karen. That's what we should call it, but I, I kind of <laughs> gave the name uh, Milky. I mean, Milky, Milky makes sense, too. I Milky guess. makes sense, too, but Milky's kind of like a nice name. Anyway... Real quick, Steve, you take pictures for your insurance. Jeremiah, are you okay, man? All right, Jeremiah, here, come in. Let's close up the shop. We're going to close the gas station for the day, and you just take the day off. Thank goodness you weren't hurt, man. Let's close the register. Okay, yesterday, nice. It made 1100 bucks. Let's clean out the register totally. That way, nobody breaks in, steals any money. Here we go, Jeremiah. You are good to go, man. Have, have a good day off. Thanks. Steve, who are these people over here in these construction vests? Are they inspectors or something? I think so. They just kind of showed up to the scene. Oh, here pulls in boss man all right man this is steve's mustang i didn't knew you had a mustang steve <laughs> i'm kind of balling out here but i mean i'm gonna have to get this guy fixed how did you do this are you just a bad driver is this something i need to know i heard that you know about this cow oh no the cow really i'm getting sick and tired of this cow i'm getting sick and tired of this cow i'm getting sick and tired of this cow Okay, you guys, there's Circle only up. one option. Circle up. Game plan it out. All right. Okay. Who's got a piece of chalk or something? I, I don't have a chalk, but what I do have is access to a trailer that stores animals, and this animal is going to be going inside. Deal. Yeah, you got like a horse trailer, livestock trailer? Yeah, man. And we, we got to get this cow off the road. First the dealership, then it's in your house. Then like, oh, dude, I'm just so sick and tired of this cow ruining everything we do. I agree. Let's, uh, everybody, let's go get four wheelers side by sides. Boss man, you get the trailer. We're going to start cruising around off road, try and find this cow. Herd him in. He's got the horse trailer and I'm taking them, my monster truck. It's a cow trailer today. Yeah, it's a cow trailer or livestock trailer. You can put anything in there. Pigs, horses, cows, whatever. How are we going to find this thing? We're going to split up and meet in the middle. Okay. Everybody got a radio. Can you hear me over? Yep. Okay. If you see the cow, let us know and give us your location. We'll be there right away. Anything is fair game. If you got to destroy crops, if you have to run over somebody's house, you, you got to do what you got to do, man. All righty. Try not to damage stuff too much. The cow already has caused more than enough of that. We're searching high and we're searching low. We're going underneath the bridges on the railroad tracks. Milky can hide anywhere. I don't really know how to track a cow. Oh, Milky. <laughs> Here he is, guys. Oh, he just hit. He's trying to. Well, uh, yeah, Milky, can you flip over my truck for me? There we go, Steve. Take him down. Take him down. Boss man, boss man. Where are you at? Get your I'm trailer coming, back I'm here. I'm coming. This thing isn't too fast to drive. Okay, box him in. Box him in. I'm going to try and ride uh, him. Can I get on top of him? Come on. Try. Oh, he shook me loose. There we go, Steve. Oh, he's, no. He's taking you for a ride. Oh, Steve is down. I repeat, Steve is he's down. He's down. Is he okay? We have both our vehicles are on the railroad track and Milky is a menace. Come on, get Milky. Oh, he's coming after me. There he goes. Steve, stay in your vehicle. Try and flip over, man. Oh, nice job, Steve. I'm on him. I'm on him. He's not bucking too hard. Oh, You're he's- You're on the cow? I am riding Milky, I repeat. Oh, there he goes. He's walking. Steve, back off, man. I was trying to box him in. All right, I got control of him now, guys. I got control of Milky. Okay, I think I'm here. I see your truck. Okay, what I'm going to try and do... Oh, he's he's moving. Come on, Milky. Oh, he's trying to buck me. He's trying to... Oh, he just hit a tree. Come on, Milky. How do you, how do you steer these? Steer a cow? Does anybody know? Here he goes. He's taking off. Cow? He's coming for Steve. Come on. Okay, 
Get him in the trailer, there, man. I, Get him okay. in the trailer. I, I, I figured out how to steer him, but he's he's running full speed. Milky, come. I have dog food. There we go. Come okay, on. he's moving. I can see him pretty good, but his speed. I have trouble oh, with his no. speed. Okay, turn to right. Don't turn right. damage the trailer. Come on, Milky. Get in there. Get in there, boy. We got Milky inside. There we go, Steve. We did it, man. Yeah, that was some good work. Uh, boss man, where are you taking Milky to? Uh, that's, uh, we don't have to talk about that. Take him He's to Culver's. Going... They'll put him to good use. They'll make ice cream out of him, cheese curds. They'll make a yeah. nice hamburger out of him. Guess all things considered, this was a pretty good day. It ended well, at least. Sorry about your gas station and your Mustang, though, but I'm good. My gas station's good, and Steve knows how to work on the car, so he'll be good. I think all of this happened for the better. I agree. Hey, where's that parking garage money? Ah, oh, you're always like, just one day, can you forget? Probably just not. Once. Okay, fine. Man, this was a really good day. How much? 1,800. Jeez, that is really good. And remember, that's 40% of what it made in total. We're balling, man. All right. Thanks, man. And I'm. Uh, if you got any questions, just text me. And then when you head out, just text me and we'll get the cleaners right in. There we go. That's our second booking of the house. So our first one went really good. We had the cleaners come in and everything. And we've already made just this month. What? I think I'll have to look back at my sheet, but 4,500 bucks off the house, which is totally worth it. And it's been a really good investment so far. But the risk is somebody who comes in, rents it, trashes it, doesn't pay, stuff like that. So that's why I have them pay up front. But the thing's going pretty good. It's kind of cool having a rental house than my own house. And I don't know, it's just another business. Doesn't take that much work. Well, boss man, I got a good idea to make some money this holiday season. Are you becoming Santa? Because you don't really look like him. Well, you see those flying reindeer? I was actually kind of thinking that, but no. Here's my idea is we have this extra land here. I'll show you. Hey, look at that. Steve's here. Steve, what's going on, big oh. guy? Hey, boys. How you doing? Doing Pretty good. good. The Mustang's seen better days, but you're starting to work on her? Yeah, I, I really screwed this one up. I can't lie. Yeah, no. But. It doesn't look too good. Luckily, it's still running. Any other damage you found? Uh, no, there's a, like, there's a little like damage to like the, the bottom of it, like the suspension and stuff, but okay. you know, nothing, nothing that can't be fixed. You'll just bend her straight. That, that sounds exactly. good, man. All right. Well here, Steve, you might actually be on this. Come with us. I kind of need your opinion too. So this right here, guys, we're looking at 1.5 acres and I kind of did some napkin math and calculated if we could plant these in Christmas trees and get them sold this year, we could make upwards to five to $10,000 just planting some trees. Oh, that's a good idea. Everyone does buy Christmas tree every year, so that could be good. Before I go get the tree planter, let's go in. All right, let's clean out the register. Let's see what we made. 1250, 1250. And Jeremiah, you've been working so hard in that whole accident that happened the other day. That was pretty tough on you here is a hundred dollars just you know kind of just a holiday pick me up and that's on top of your normal pay so don't worry and here we go let's get hooked up and oh, i forget how much it was let's see let's go talk to the manager make sure we got everything and then i ordered these three pallets and that's just the test right now we're gonna order more in the future all right good deal they had 50 percent off so typically to rent this thing for the day was 600 bucks it's only 300 and then i paid 100 bucks for each pallet of sapling so 300 there and 300 there all right there we go we're off they kind of told me just buy three pallets at first that makes sense because this thing can only hold three and then if everything's going smooth i think a boss man come down with a trailer or something and we'll pick up a bunch but this isn't cheap and i gotta figure out exact pricing for how much a tree is gonna cost and all that and heck we might make more money than i think things are just getting crazier oh i lost the tree oh what are they doing what in the heck i think they're trying to they must have dropped a bolt on the ground or something what are you guys doing steve lost his contact he's trying to find it steve how I'm many fingers am i holding up like six i don't know i'm blind right now it's only one hand i only have five oh. fingers oh no we need to find his contacts oh it's on the bottom of my shoe here just wipe it off heavily appreciated thank you so much yeah no problem okay uh yeah man you need to get working on that mustang I, I keep distracting here. I'll close the door. Yeah. What I'm thinking is I got this thing turned on. I put one tree into the ground and everything seems to be good. I want to try and plant them straight. Oh, he got that thing fired up. This thing spins quick when you're planting. Yeah, what it does, it tills up the ground a bit. And then, yeah, I just need to drive straight, man. I'm, okay, that's not straight. Are you forgetting something? Uh, what's that? You forget something in here? No, yeah, you need to pay me some money. All right, I gotta... here's 600 bucks. Go get six pallets. Okay. 
Uh oh guys we're planting them off they're all off a little bit but this is off by a lot boss man you load up the trees i'll show you how to run the tractor all right see first off get a bit tighter so back up circle your way around put it by the concrete and he's off looks good okay now while he's doing that i don't know where boss man went but i have an idea i'm gonna repaint this because it's gonna take a while it's gonna take him like an hour to plant that and i'm gonna have him go the other way and stuff so we're gonna shut this real quick and we're gonna troll him because he ran into my gas station now he didn't hurt anything in my gas station honestly it just hurt his car but still i lost some business there so we're gonna pull a little prank on him i got something to surprise you i pretty much i just waxed your mustang up for you i, I felt bad for you you put so much work into it and he wrecked it and now you got to do it again so go ahead open up we'll see how she looks oh what the heck that wax turned a different color this is beautiful oh oh okay this is actually a prank steve i painted her pink we are heading up to a campsite right here we're all loaded up got two dirt bikes in the back there husqvarna that we rented i think this is it this is the park that we we rented a spot ten dollars a night man look at these rocks here at the water heck yeah waterfall and then i think we can overlook Oh, no, we got too many trees in the way. But I was going to say, there should be a pretty good view up there. This is a tilt trailer, but hey, who needs it when you got this beast? There we go. I'm just driving off the front. This one is a two-stroke 250, and then that one is a four-stroke 250. So we wanted to mix it up. I always like to try new things. This guy's pretty zippy. I like the color. Don't wipe out. Don't wipe out. Go, 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 go. There we go. You might need to grab my bike. I might throw it over the edge. Man, these are slippery rocks. Oh, watch no out, chance. tree. There we there go. There you go. Well, guys, bad news bears. We went to look for wood, got stopped by a park ranger, and we just realized we were at the visitor center. This isn't even the campgrounds, boss man. Yeah, we got to get out of here. They don't want us to be staying. Are you sure your dad is okay with us possibly destroying your truck? Yeah, he should be fine with it. Where are you? I'm crossing the creek with the trailer, and I'm already stuck. This thing is terrible off-road. Man, why did you go this way? Because I missed my turn. I'm the one doing everything around here. All right, let's push. All right, push, push, push. Come on, big cat. All right, I'm a little worried about the trailer, but we got momentum. Hang right or right right left? Here. Right or left? Go right, go right. My vehicle's okay. up there. It's about time. Holy biscuits, that's straight up. Come on, old girl. You got her. All right, boss man, I think this is it, man. This is getting a little overkill. All right, she is squatting. We put this truck to the test today. Yeah, I hope my dad will be okay with this. Like, I, again, he's usually pretty easy going, but if we completely destroy the suspension... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Brakes are out. Brakes are out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't flip it. Oh! oh. Biscuits and gravy. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. Holy man, that was cow. scary. We got her on two wheels. I felt like I actually had a decent amount of control. Let's do it again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Too much. Oh! Too much. Man, you messed up. Well, if we just drop the logs, we can push it over. I think the logs weigh more than the truck. There we go. Not too big of a deal. Okay, let's start up this fire, man. All right. I think we should probably cut these into a bit of smaller uh, pieces. Yeah, or just drill a hole and put some lighter <laughs> that, fluid in it and throw a match on her. That could work, too. Well, boss, man, that took longer than I thought, and it started to rain. Uh, yeah, man, I'm getting wet, but luckily the suit's kind of coming in handy now. Okay, before the wood gets too wet, start stacking this. Let's let's get a match going. Aren't we sleeping outside? Yeah. Okay, wait, wait, there's some big trees here. Maybe, or what if there's like a big rock we could kind of stay under? Or what if we go back into town and stay at the motel? Man, that's what boring people do. It's raining too much, though, man, and we're going to get cold. Come on, look, let's look around. There has to be something we can do. This little tree right here? If you say it's a little... No, man, that's terrible. Boss man, boss man, come look at the trees. They're growing so fast. Did you look at this when you pulled in today? Look at them. Oh, what? I did not expect them to get to this stage so quick. You're making $2,000 once again. There you go. Let's go, guys. We're making money. We're getting closer to a million. Uh, what? Who put this TV up? Boss man is cool. It's... Spencer likes pools. What the heck? Yeah, like, I was thinking. I was like, I am cool. And you built a pool a few weeks back, so it's perfect. But boss man's drool, Spencer is cool. And that just doesn't roll off the tongue as well. It doesn't. I think mine's better. It's more true. Do you have anything in your plans today that I should know about? I do have to do a repo set. at some point today, but it's pretty flexible. Okay, okay. That is more than fine. Just have a little bit of work to do. I do want you to clean up this shop. I want you to sweep, maybe move some of these cars around too, because I don't really like the current layout. So do you want to... Yeah, we uh, can do just, a little refresh. Yeah, you know, spice it up a little. All right, there we go. We're going to leave the front door open so it's inviting. People come in and they know they can, like, crawl in and stuff. These are one of our show models. And the interior looks amazing. 
I mean, you're not supposed to say crawl in. That makes it seem like a small vehicle. No. It's a nice, I spacious see, I ride. see what you're saying, but, you know, get in, relax, sit back on their nice recliner. Okay, okay. That's more like it. All right, man. You got nothing else for me to do? I'm going to go on that repo job here. Yeah, feel free to go on it. And also, uh, Jeremiah called that he needs a cash register emptied, so... I guess I'm in uh, need quite a bit of money. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah, it must be full. That's a good thing. It's been a minute since we've done a tow job or a repo job. Business has been a little slower than expected, and we really got to start picking it up here. But once winter hits, the amount of, hey, I'm stuck in a ditch, or hey, they spun out kind of calls, just goes through the roof. You know, sometimes I wonder where all the customers are, because it seems like when I pull in a lot, well, when I drive by, sometimes it's pretty busy, but... But I'm always here collecting money. There's not too many people around. Jeremiah, how's it going? Oh, the register's full. Holy biscuits. Well, I guess that register is holding 2,200 bucks. That was a good day. All right, Jeremiah. Good work, man. I'll shut the door for you. See you later. Have a good day. This is kind of interesting repo job because typically when we repo something, it's because people aren't paying their loans. And so a lot of the time it's a new car that somebody gets a loan on because new cars are a lot more expensive. But it sounds like the person isn't paying on this car. So it's a 1980 something Chevy Capri, looks good. Heck, they even took their license plate off, that's not good. All right, let's get hooked up, perfect. And there we go, we're winching her up. Let's get the back tires off the ground and we'll be good to roll. I always like to walk around it one more time, just a little inspection, make sure everything's good. There's nothing like locking up the wheel or something that's gonna mess us up. We got the flashers on and we are up and out of here. Uh-oh, we got another deer on the road. Somebody needs to take care of these town deer. They're all okay, he just ran out in front of me. These deer guys are like rabbits or squirrels. Like, you know, you see a rabbit and squirrel across the road in like the middle of town. Well, now there's deer. So somebody, some hunter needs to take care of that. I hear sirens. I better get over. There might be a fire truck. Let's see. I can't see him in my mirror right now. What the heck? It's like a truck here. Let's... Seems like he's falling behind me. Here, I'm gonna pull over in the gas station to make sure he's not falling behind me. Howdy, officer, what seems to be the issue? Hey, let me show off my truck for you there, sir. Uh, yes, this is, I have all the paperwork for this repo. Yep, this is a repossession. It's not a towing or anything. I am repossessing this vehicle for Elm Creek Bank. Here's all the paperwork that they gave me. There you go. So he told me that I'm repoing the wrong car. I'm towing the wrong car is what he said when he first got out of the truck. And then I give him all my papers to show like, hey, this is the car, blah, 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 blah. Like I have the rights to do it. And uh, he says I'm repoing the wrong one. And the owner called the police station a minute ago and said somebody just took his truck or his car. We got to figure this thing out. The VIN number doesn't match. This is a 1987 Chevy Capri. Oh, dang it. You're right, officer. You're right. Oh my goodness, I, I, where is the car then? Oh, you know what, officer? Look at the papers. It says yellow. I did not see that, or yellow, whatever yellow phase this. Okay, it is not red. I'm sorry, officer. I'm sorry. All right, uh, I, I'm gonna go back and drop this off. I didn't hurt it or anything, so I think we're good. Dang it, guys, we really messed up on this one, and hopefully it doesn't hurt my reputation too bad. I'm guessing this person is gonna leave a really bad review on my Yelp page. Right now I have all five star ratings, but they're mostly just from my mom and grandma. All right, get the hook off the truck. And then this is the car. The officer's sticking here. I think he wants to make sure that I'm doing it right, I guess. All right, thanks officer for blocking traffic. Appreciate it. Sorry about the confusion officer. Thanks again, man. You have a good day. All right, perfect. That was actually really nice. He blocked all the traffic for me and made it really easy. Boss man's probably wondering what took me so long and I'll tell him the story, but he's really gonna make fun of me. Well, we got the car dropped off. Everything should be good to go. Let's turn the lights off and I guess we're gonna get back to work. Heck, I wouldn't be surprised if those trees grew between when I left and when I got back. Cause they're growing so fast. Hey boss man. What took you so long? Yeah, I had a little of a bit of a mishap. Oh no, oh no. Alarm's going off. What time is it? It's nine o'clock. I'm supposed to be at work at eight today. Oh no, let's put the boots on. Put the boots on. It's pouring cats and dogs out there, guys. I think that's why I slept in. I slept like a baby. All right, come on, banana. Oh, I'm all out of bananas. All right, three day old coffee. That's a little lukewarm. And we have some croissants left. Let's go. Shut the door out. Got my raincoat on. Whoa, whoa, what are all these cops doing? Oh my goodness, guys, it flooded. Wait a second, I'm getting a call from boss man. I, I missed 50 calls from boss man. Yo, what's going on? Man, the city is flooded. Every square inch of it. Hey, sorry, I, I just woke up and saw I missed all your calls. The policemen are right outside my door. Yeah, I'm they're everywhere, man. Fire trucks, ambulances, everything. Okay, they got the road completely blocked off. How can I get... Oh, uh, I gotta check up on Jeremy first. Is everything okay with you? Yeah, everything's good for me personally, but the dealership's not looking too hot. 
what's really nice is i got the monster truck so yeah it doesn't even oh my goodness okay this is so nice okay i am uh in the water hopefully it doesn't get any deeper i'll be on my way okay sounds good actually i'm gonna go talk to the cops real quick because it looks like they might be able to use my truck if they need to rescue people so i just want to touch base with them all right i touch base with them it sounds like they have some fire trucks out there that are actively rescuing people especially there's an elder home in here that sounds like got flooded all the way up to the second story so a lot of older folks that are struggling a bit but if they need me, they got me and I, you know, I can pretty much make it through anything. But those guys look like they got snorkels and really high up. They're working hard. Thank you to our first responders. Here's a monster truck. That thing's got its hazards on. I've never seen somebody have that one. Okay, let's see. Oh, no, the gas station. No, Jeremiah, what are you doing, man? Of course, there's no business. Yeah, there's no business because it's flooding out. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Here, let's see. Yeah, your car's still in the shop. Jeremiah, you're lucky, man. Hopefully the shop's not flooded. Okay, jump in the tow truck. Just drive home. All right, man, I'll clean out the register. Just don't go into any deeper water. They should be able to make it through at least a foot, but not anymore. All right, there he goes. Let's get the register all cleaned up. Let's lock the place. Hopefully it's still raining, so water's going to keep coming up. There we go. He made 800 before the flood. Awesome. Let's shut the door. If the water doesn't rise anymore, I think we're good. I think it's the floor is going to be wet, obviously, and like drywall will have to cut up like two feet off of it. And I think the pumps are going to be fine. A lot of things are waterproof in there. I'm going to try and go help other people make sure boss band's okay. Oh, it's pretty deep over here. That whole entire cornfield is flooded. That's not going to be fun to harvest. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at the dealership. Oh my. Hopefully boss man has good flood insurance. Look at the Ford six door. That thing got saved. It was up on the mount there. Both of our Mercedes SUVs. I absolutely flooded it looks like a police officer tried to make it to higher ground his truck bottomed out the golf cart is submerged wait buster where's buster i'm sure buster's smart we know he can swim and obviously he'll just run away from the water so he's not caged in here uh, has a leash on boss man boss man he's not in his office let's see all right i'm not hearing him let's see if he's out by any of the cars is he on the racks no he's not on the racks i thought he'd be up there oh boss man there you are hey oh dude it is soaked in this place. Yeah, I got my waders on. This is what I go fly fishing in. And so I'm bone dry. How's your rental house? I Are haven't checked. Like Thanks for reminding me, boss man. Boss man, look at this. If we were right here, just a little higher with the dealership, we'd be fine. I think the dealership marks the low point in the whole entire town because it was never up to my chest and it was in there. Oh, your house looks good. Why is the door open? I don't know. There should be people. I think they're, you know what, what time is it? It's 9.30. They were supposed to move out by 10. So they're probably out of here. Hello, hello. Anyone in here? They just, okay, they got it somewhat clean. They just didn't shut the lights off. They must have been out of here in a hurry or worried about the rain. It's okay. Honestly, a day like this, you just have to yeah, I'm happy go with, with the it. flow of things. Hell, turn off the lights. I'm surprised they even work. Officers told me they just got a call. There's somebody stranded on the bus right here. What the heck? I'm sure I'm sure they rescued it already, but the water, it stopped raining super good and sounds like the water's gonna start going back. All right, let's back up here. All right, ma'am, come run up here. It's okay. It might be a little bit of a jump. Here we go, keep coming, keep going. Yeah, there you go. Just jump and run. You got it. I'll catch you. There you go. You got it. Nice. Hey, you used to be a gymnastics back in the day or a hurdler. All right, just hang on. I'm gonna take you to dry land. There you go. All right, ma'am, you're, you're a school teacher? Oh, and they rescued all the kids and they didn't have room for you and they forgot about you? Oh my goodness, they forgot about you. That's terrible. Okay, you say you live right up here? Oh, left right here? Oh, nice. You don't live far at all. Well, make sure to check your basement. Make sure there's no water in there, but I think you got lucky. Sounds like we got one more call that we got to go rescue an older gentleman, and I think I know exactly who it is. Sounds like it's old man Jenkins, and he's at the diner, which he pretty much lives at the diner. He's their number one customer. Uh, it's so much nicer without the rain, and it was pretty dark, and you can see the storm system. This is, this is like the worst flood since the 90s. There was some crazy flood back in 1926. All the old timers talk about that hit Goldcrest. And there's like old videos in black and white that talks about how bad it was and stuff. We'll kind of see what this compares to. Old man Jenkins. All right, man, go ahead. Jump over. You got it. I'll catch you. Here you go. Nice. Heck yeah. All right, guys. Sounds like Bossman's going to get in touch with insurance. He doesn't know what the heck's going to go with his business. I think I'll be able to salvage my gas station here and I'll have to have inspectors come through and everything, but I'm new to all this. Howdy, howdy. Bossman, Bossman, are you ready to go? I got three cars uh, dropped on my Google Maps pin and then you said you had some that you needed to get? Yeah, it's going to be a busy day. People have been calling all over the place. All right, man. Let's figure out what the heck's going on. Yeah, this seems to be... Ooh. Oh, geez. Is that a camper? I that's a police car. Oh, you're talking, you're talking about this thing? Yeah, oh, yeah, there's a, a truck. I didn't see the truck. I'm moving a bit. Are you moving? Yeah, I'm definitely moving a bit too. 
Old Toad Mater, are you hung up on the tree? Because I, 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 oh, is the truck even oh, moving? Oh, yeah. Okay, here. G give it a sec. The truck is moving. I repeat, the truck is moving. Oh, well, I'm popping a wheelie. Toad Mater, don't do it to me, man. Wait, I think it's... Are you winching now? No, not yet. No, you winch. You winch. I need your help. Winch. Okay, here we go. Come on. I'm pulling. Well, boss man, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I'd say this is pretty much out of the water now. We had chopped a few trees, started rubbing up on the camper really bad. Thought it was going to bust a window. But yeah, it's it's fairly well out of there. Kind of letting everything drain out for now. Here we go. Let's get her winched up. And this is the only one, boss man. This is the only one that the owners called us for. Even though all these other cars are swamped here. Yeah, we're only going to do what we're supposed to. Okay, I'm going to head straight to Morgan's Motors, boss man. I'll, I'll see you there. This looks kind of weird. Like the sun reflecting off the water looks like the water's very deep, but it's not too bad. And then we're, we're towing a car through it. So it's kind of funny. You know, these guys can make some room for us rescue men getting all the cars out and getting everybody situated. Now I'm joking. Those guys are good guys. Morgan's Motors is right up here. And boss man, I think he's picking up a car and going to meet me here. There we go. We got the first car dropped off. Boss man, it says he's a couple minutes behind me. And yeah, so we're just taking it to Morgan's. Morgan's Motors. That's where Steve works part time, if you guys remember. All right, boss man, radio in. Where you at? All right, I'm about to hit the main road, but man, this thing is being troublesome. I'm towing old man Jenkins' truck from oh, yesterday. Yeah, his uh, 1500. That would be a pretty big truck. Yeah, it's heavy and something is really locked up in here. I don't know what went wrong, but like it feels like I'm just fighting like the parking brake. Hmm. Yeah, just pull her home <laughs> if there's some black skid marks on the road. It's all good. I'm going to pick up a car here, Range Rover that got called in 30 minutes ago, and I'll probably meet you there. There we go. We got the Range Rover hooked up. Sounds like this was parked like way up the road. It got washed down and hit this tree. That's kind of what stopped it. And we'll get it winched up here. There we go. I'd say we're good. All right. This Range Rover pulls pretty... Oh, it's a little sloppy. It pulls pretty good, though. Nice. Heck yeah. It feels like there's nothing back there. I think these old older vehicles kind of have a better way of, I think, releasing like the drive system and all that, the transmission freeing it up so we'll get this oh we beat boss boss man is it even here we got two cars in the time boss man got not even one all right we got the range rover dropped off and then this is the electric mustang and sounds like it's running like fine and everything but well it's not running fine there's some issues and stuff but they want it have it checked over before they go drive it and who knows electric car i don't know what morgan's motors are going to do about it but th i think the owner just wants to make sure everything's okay uh-oh i see some lights boss man radio in holy biscuits man this has been the most painful drive of my life i'd rather be driving the segway this is the fastest i've been you should have seen me on a hill holy cow yep look at this thing i'm turning in here heck i should I almost care. give you a little tap here yeah old man jenkins better be happy he should buy a car from us if we ever do open back up oh that's so much better there you go a little tap old tomato don't mind well guys today's the day the insurance guys coming in i think boss man's banker is coming in and they're having a meeting heck maybe they already had it see buster doesn't even know what the heck's going on he's just living his best life walking in circles boss man boss man When's the meeting? Man, the meeting just finished. Oh, and... oh, okay, okay. Real quick, you go in the office. I gotta grab you something to drink. Okay. Let's see, boss man's favorite thing, Coca-Cola. Get a water. All right, there you go, man. Thank you. What's the news? We need to move. It's over? That It's it's completely over. They said the damage is too much. This thing is going to have to be torn down. There's no fixing it up. Like, it's just every, all the electrical work, just are every you, little bit of this. Are group. they covering it? Or, like, how does that work? They're, yeah, so they're going to send me a bunch of money, but it's going to be a little bit before that comes in. Luckily, I do have a savings account, so we'll make the most of the situation. But honestly, man, I'm just thinking to move out of town and go somewhere else that just doesn't have this whole flood issue because i i can't deal with any more water like so this. we're like starting this. over yeah do you, you want to move too yeah i was gonna say am i fired technically i guess i guess you're fired man but but hey like this doesn't mean it has to be the end of us working together just it's the end of us working at this dealership okay well where are you moving to i'm thinking you remember that place you went camping the other day yeah some silver place whatever all that forest around there. silver run right yeah 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 i i really like that area so i know there's a pretty good town around there thinking that's where i'm gonna head to and if you want to join you're more than welcome wait boss man i didn't even realize this what what in tarnation look at our christmas trees what the heck how did this happen i think These there was some go-go juice in the flood water what in tarnation these things shot up faster than johnny appleseed man 
Are we going to be able to sell these? Oh, I don't know if don't people know. are going to want to buy these solid trees. They don't really fit in your average house. I really wonder who's going to buy this place and what it's going to turn into when somebody does buy it in like a year from now. We'll have to come back, boss man, see what it is. Yeah, it's going to be interesting, but it won't be mine. Hopefully it doesn't Much get longer. bulldozed over or anything, but we'll see. Here we go. We're off to the races, guys. This is the last time. We'll be back, but this is the last time we're going to be working here. All that stuff. Next time we're back, I'm sure everything's gonna be changed you know how far of drive it is uh, it's gonna be at least an hour obviously roads are still not good conditions here we go guys shifting gears see you later dealership boss man are you crying man it's happy tears happy happy tears it's a sad day but it, it will be good in the end everything will be all right well guys wish us luck we're heading over we'll see you in a bit and we're gonna try and create a home base and figure things out here we're crossing the river guys there we are beautiful entering silver run town right now i believe boss man's behind me everything's going just fine and we're almost there boss man yes sir man this is nice i love this area it's nice to be back boss man and i are gonna need your help for what the heck we're gonna do next so i still own the two rental properties the gas station and we still own the parking garage so we're gonna make a lot of money from the parking garage and my other investments but what are we gonna do like day to day and different ideas that you guys have we want to see them in the comments let's fuel up with diesel and i forgot to mention well the reason why i have two rental properties is i had one earlier and then the place that i was living in well we're moving away from there so i'm just gonna keep it keep renting it out seem to make pretty good money but boss man i forgot to tell you i sold you know my monster truck that i used for the flood you sold it i didn't sell it said I, if you I, sold it then i get some of the money no i donated it to the fire station because they saw how valuable it was it had the flatbed we literally backed up to a one-story roof and an old guy was able to walk off his roof directly onto the truck. So anyway, they're going to use it for like a rescue vehicle during floods. That thing was a beast. So I just donated it to him. A little tax write-off. Okay. Yeah. You know what? You donated it. That That's okay. I thought for a second that you just sold it and you were going to hog all the money. And I was like, that's not okay. No, but yeah, no. For no. sure. Helping out the department. No problem with that. Yeah, and they rescued so many people, did such a good job. So here's the map, guys. We're in the middle of it. Obviously, there's so much more to it, but most of it, what would you say, boss man? 34 or 75% of the town is timber. Yeah, there's a lot of trees around here, lots of off road areas, mountains, and it, it, it's a decent waterfalls. size. Don't forget the waterfalls. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. The waterfalls too are beautiful, but it is a decent sized town for how like rural the area is around it. Well, boss man, I got a motel booked for us for the next three three nights so we know where we're staying for the next three nights in between you got the separate beds right oh oh yeah yeah for sure okay just making sure all right guys this is where bossman and i are staying for the next at least three days we could extend it further if we can't find something i think you got the, the fourth floor or third it's only three okay yeah there's really not much parking around here no we'll have to talk to the city and just say like hey or i guess the town and just let them know that hey like we're we're gonna move our, our stuff got flooded just need a bit of time here you go boss man they had some complimentary coffee for you awesome thank you thank you how did you sleep pretty good but i'm hungry i was looking up places to go eat this morning and where are we going smithy's it sounds like they got a little diner in there that you can have breakfast at okay let's quickly go eat but man i also uh like today we kind of have some things finally in the schedule because i bought something and we'll, we'll, we'll discuss it okay. over the next bit let's uh let's have breakfast you tell me about it i'm okay, starving okay. marvin so yeah i bought that land man and again no clue how it's gonna look but it's cheap land so we can definitely do something with and it. and how many acres is it that you bought it's just it's it's, it's small it's like two acres at okay. most but hey it's gonna get the job done i don't know what's there it's probably pretty basic right now but we can build whatever we want so to wrap up this crazy story boss man oh my goodness boss man you you were up last night couldn't sleep and you bought this on a timed auction sight unseen dude that's pretty scary you didn't even see the place no i, I saw some like potato quality photos but okay. that's about it well sounds like you bought this land at a pretty good price well tell me how to get there we'll drive up all right i think how about you follow me 10-4 all right boss man remember i have a 45 foot trailer back here so you got to make sure I okay what are we hung up on you already stuck yeah i think i hit a curb there's a lot of foot traffic in town. This town's got a lot of people. Yeah, it does for being such a small place. Hang left, man. 10-4. Look at this place. It's got all these windows, gray woods gallery. That's interesting. Okay, don't hit the nice 
They have such nice landscaping in the middle of their roads and everything. Yeah, man, this place is going to look great when the Christmas time comes. I can't wait to see what they do. Heck yeah, there's the gas station. If you guys remember, that's the gas station we stopped at. You're going to be hanging right over here. We're taking this path. 10-4. Uh, boss man, this is pretty off-roady for a semi with two tow trucks on a trailer. Yeah, but man, you got some like really nice tires on there. You should be good. Uh, still, man, I together I'm probably weighing 60,000 pounds. We're close, we're close. If you get stuck, then we'll just use the tow trucks to tow you out. If you're hanging it right up here. You're joking. Dude, there's no way. Man, you can. Just The trailer's got a bottom you out. You can do it, man. Maybe just drive a little better. Okay, here we go. Toolboxes are scraping. Go, go, go. I'm spinning. No. It's going. It's going. It kicked in. Yes. The... Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. No, it's not. No, it's not. Do I need to push you? I'll push you. How about that? The whole entire trailer. We're scraping on the bottom, man. Man, I'll, I'll push you and we'll be good. No need to worry. All right, man. I'm pushing. Here we go. Go, go, go. I'm rolling coal. Come on. I think I just need to give you another big push. All right. Go, go, go. Okay, I'm coming. Here we go. Come on, big cat. There we go. There we go. There we go. Wait, am okay. I supposed to keep going up the hill or take a right? Yeah, keep going up. Oh, no. Dude, that's terrible. Okay, screw it. I'm walking from here. Okay, yeah, it's not much further, man. I'm not dealing with that. This is it, Yeah, huh? it's, it's you know, it's land. I can barely see you through all these bushes. Well, at least they aren't huge trees or anything. So it's two and a half acres. That's it? Yeah, just, just around there. It, it was kind of a sketchy site, but hey, we got it either way. Tell me where oh. the border is. I believe it's kind of just like this like general tree line right here. Okay, here's a rock here. Does it go all the way to the rock? Yeah, I think this rock's covered, and then it just kind of like goes around here. Wait, what's this over here? Man. I saw a waterfall. Yeah, no, there's, there's some walkways there's over a here. There's building. Oh, what is this building? This is definitely on my land. Okay, do you own the is. waterfall all the way up there in the steps? Uh, oh, okay. I, I don't think I own that. I think that's kind of like the border of where I own, but man, this is... What does it say? Police? Security check. That's really hard to see. I Wait, don't have a good... Po police? Police farming district substation? What? Is this a door? Hey, this door opens and there's Wait, a bush turn growing on your flashlight, in it. Man. Turn on your flashlight. There's literally grass growing here. What does it say? Visitor... Visitor... Check-in. Visitor check-in. Okay. Report man, I think this your is neighbor. A... I think this is a police station that's like abandoned. Yeah, all person packages subject search upon photo ID required. Yeah, we're in a police station. There's grass growing through the floor. Yeah, look at this. What is this? The dispatch center? I guess. I don't know. They looks like they're on YouTube. Most wanted. Interesting. They have pictures of people they're looking for. Man, I'll see that one guy kind of looks similar to me. Yeah, they oh, that's the squad. It's a squad and rival farmers in 2020 somebody burnt their house down. What the heck? Okay, okay. They have the cops TV show on the computer. Okay, what is this? This must be an interrogation room. Okay, here's a door right here. Fire extinguisher. Substation history. Hey, here's a history. In 1942, cattle rustling was the biggest worry to all the farming community. Together, they collected the money needed to build a police station that was close enough to respond to the incident. What's cattle rustling? 1942. I don't know. That's back in the day. This is a cop car. It's a Jeep Cherokee lifted. It says sheriff on the side. Man, there's a winch on the front. This like thing doesn't winch. look in terrible condition. A few windows are cracked and the, some of the tires are flat, but that can be fixed. Let's pop the hood. Man, the light works in there. Okay, the engine the looks pretty clean. Oh, uh, obviously check all the fluids, make sure there's gas in it, and let's try and find a key for it. Oh, man. Okay, there's definitely a key here. And there's a handcuff key as well. Okay, uh, did you check all the fluids, oils in it? Everything looks good. What does the it's gas like, gauge say? It has some gas in it. Okay. Not much. The electronics work? Try and turn it over. You might as well. Okay. Wait. There's okay. the lights. Yeah, this the battery's light. working. Okay, crank it. Crank it. Turn the lights okay. off. Turn, don't drain the battery. Turn the lights off. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Yep. It's like the starter. There you go. Hold it forward, boss man. Looking good. Okay, it's moving. They got it in here. You can get it out. Yes, sir. There we go. Knock down some of these bushes. Yeah, don't scratch it up. The paint actually looks pretty good. All right, let's get this thing to the beaten path. So, boss man, is your head turning? Mine is. Yeah, man. I This is cool. I have so many ideas already. Like, first off, this Jeep. I would love to get this thing upgraded. We need to knock out these bushes. We got to just get this thing spiffied up. Yeah, there's no huge, like, 45-year-old trees that shows... I don't know when this thing was abandoned, but... Yeah, we could easily mow this down and see what we're working with. But, man, we have a police station. Do you want to be a police officer? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, who's this? Someone's driving by. What, in Tarnation? This is my land. Oh, we're, we're where'd cops he go? Now. 
I don't know. I don't know if we could just be cops instantly, boss man. We gotta sign some papers or something. I, I, I kind of want to talk to locals, see if they have any info on this. Okay, this guy's coming back. Wait, Steve? Yeah. What? what do you not recognize me or yes, something? Yes, we recognize you. First off, why is your hood open? Can you even see where you're going? Oh, yeah. I know these roads like the back of my hand. I I can do anything with them. What, how do you how do you know these roads? Oh, I, I just uh, own some land down there. Like, I've been, I've owned it for a while now, and due to the flood, I, I decided to move back. Hey, what are the chances? You're in the same situation as us. The flood totally took us out of business. But is, uh, is the... Is Morgan Motors still open or is he shut down for a few weeks? Oh, he shut down for a few weeks, but I got another shop shop just down the road. Okay, fair enough, so you, man. You have, you have one here? Yeah. What? When did... You've just always had this and just never thought to tell us? Yeah, I didn't think it was a big deal. Okay, Steve, have you ever worked on a Jeep before? Yeah, I have. What if he works on the Jeep? Yeah, get it back into shape, repaint her up. Maybe we get it like black upgraded. and then it yeah. looks more like a police car and then we get another police car and then we become a police station but i think we gotta talk with this city before we become police officers boss okay. man but they okay, said they okay. were needing some they said police officers hired yeah okay okay man this is good this is gonna be good all right boys put your game face on here's a breath mint you need some gun boss man okay okay there you go let's do this thing let's go well, guys, that went way better than I thought. Right now, it sounds like we have to do an online test course, like training program. That's online. Should take a couple days. Not a big deal. And then once we pass that, then we do a one day in person. They have the neighboring city's police department chief come down and he pretty much runs us through a crash course of how to be a police officer. Well, I'm going to do it. I'm down. Are you guys down? I am. They said, Steve, they said there's only two spots open, so they can only let have a budget for two police officers yeah i mean that's upsetting but life goes on i can go back to being my mechanic and that hey, hey like it, it, again maybe we'll have you work on the jeep at some point and you know we always if we have a police department well, there's always jobs we'll need you to do i think i just made it to c's place this is the address he texted me this is pretty awesome so we brought the jeep cherokee down and he's gonna get it all fitted up, put his special touch on it. And then this thing's gonna be an off-road beast, I guess. Let's see, Elk Mountain Ranch. I don't know, let's, can we knock? Is this motion sensor? Oh, I just touched the door and it opened. That's pretty cool. Okay, yep, this is Steve's place. There's his Hummer. I've never seen this van before though. Osman's got the semi today. We're running to Marin's. Sounds like he needs help loading something up here. Holy biscuits. Osman, you said you could take care of those little pesky brushes and trees. Yeah, man, this thing should do a good job at that. I should have no problem knocking down anything we needed to. So help me load this thing up. I rented out. Don't worry about paying me. I'm rich, as you know. Uh, boss man, do you know how to drive this thing? No. Do you? Uh, two joysticks. Hey, there's the horn button. Okay, that horn's so weak. I can't even really hear it in here. Okay, there's the key. I got it fired up. Man, you seem to be a pro at this. So this is uh -oh. going to be your duty. Okay, wrong one. No, not that way. Okay, go backwards. Go backwards. You'll figure it out, man. Okay, I, there's I believe backwards. in you. There's backwards. All right, boss, man. I think I got it. Hold on. Okay. All right, tell me if I'm too far to the right or left. I'm coming a little crooked. Oh, uh, you seem good. You seem good. Just slow it down. That should be good. Uh, boss, man, this doesn't look good. I think I did what you did uh, yesterday. Uh, yeah, this thing's not moving. At some point, we should probably regrade this because whenever we come up this hill, we bottom out every time. I know, I know. But what do we do for now? Just uh, unload here? Yeah, I think we unstrap unload here. I'm sure it's fine. This thing's actually pretty quick. Oh, that's a steep drop. Yep, there we go. I put on my parking brake, so no issues there. Let's hope we can make it up. I think this thing has a winch on the back if we need to use it. Uh, boss man, this thing has steel tracks. It can make it up anything. Well, then why do they have the winch? Well, that's for going up a sheer cliff. Boss man, these oh, are just little hills. Okay. Whenever we come up this road, I always hate this tree. It rubs on our semi or anything that we're driving. So, boss man, I'm taking it out. All right, knock that thing down. Here we go, eat her up. The stump is gone. Now you just eat the rest of the tree here. There you go. All right. Well, now it's time. I think I'm just going to go back and forth like I'm mowing. There we go. I think we're good. The only thing that's left is actually like grass, which honestly, I kind of want to keep the grass. It looks really nice. So that's pretty awesome. The rest in here, I think the handy dandy chainsaw, a weed eater and a, and a kind of like a push mower would knock it all out. Yeah, like this tree right here, guys. Wait, wait, wait. What is this? Wait, 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 wait. What? 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 Man, There's I literally jump this out, way. jump out, jump out. Ah, this better be good. This is amazing. Look at this thing. Wait, there's a vehicle back here. Yeah, you would have came in here and chewed this up. You would have hit metal and destroyed the thing. 
Okay, the paint on this is a bit rough, but here, help me push this out of here. Push it or, out, wait. boss man. The tires are flat. Grab your tow truck. Grab your tow trucks, Okay, man. true, true, true. Let's get tow trucks. I'm cutting down this tree real quick because I don't know. I just want to cut it down. Timber. Okay. Okay, I'll get the tow trucks. You come in with the mulcher and mulch right up to it in the front and the back. All right, here we go. Let's pull her out. I'm not using the winch. So we're just going to pull it right up and out. There we go. What do you think, boss man? This is awesome. Honestly, it's not too bad. I definitely would say it needs a new paint job and probably a bit of other stuff. But so hey, it's a cop car. It will definitely sell for scraps at the very least. Yeah, I was thinking still some equipment and technology in there. That everything looks torn up. This is probably like a 2011, 2010? Yeah, probably around there. Definitely not like a 2020 or anything no, like no, that. No, 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 no. Of course not, because all this stuff, all this brush growing around it and stuff. Okay, why don't you take the mulcher? Just do one or two passes back there. Clean it completely out. And heck, maybe I'll take this down to Steve, see what he can do. All right, all right. But one thing at a time, man. Like, we just gave him a vehicle to work on. True. Maybe he has that one done. Maybe. Boss man, I got her all seated up. All right, perfect. So this thing's ready to be bought back. So if you want to do that, yep. I'm just going to close up everything and I'll see you in a few days and you'll do that police test, right? That works. I just parked the Tahoe over there. I will be on my computer for the, as long as it takes to get her finished. Okay, sounds good. Well, see you then. See you later. Heck yeah, look at the place. The grass is starting to grow. I should probably not drive on it, but I just seeded it real quick and fast starting grass. And then we're going to make a driveway. We'll probably have gravel at first, maybe concrete, but I can't even think that far ahead. Boss man should be here. I got done with my online test. Hopefully he passed it too. Uh oh, he's over the garage. Oh, boss man, what is this? Man, check out what Steve did. Nice. This is the same Grand Cherokee we brought to him? It's the same one technically, but uh, visually, this thing is a completely different vehicle. Did you give beast. him measurements of the garage? Because that thing barely fits. Yeah, yeah. It's really close. We might have to take off that top little tent, but I thought it was good to have because, you know, what if we get like lost, ran out of gas Heck yeah. sort of thing? Or or we're looking for somebody who's lost in the, mount in the woods. And, and we got to look for a long period of time. And yeah, we're really far away from things. Smart. Yeah. So this thing should work really, really good. But man, we got to put this thing to the test. Steve said if we want this thing, then we have to see what it can do. I saw this rock over here and may maybe it's a little bit like, you know, too intense. But I want to see if we can get up this. We're going to definitely need to use our winch though, just in case. So I'm going to get it connected right now. All right. I'm tightening up. Here we go. All right. Make sure the Holy winch is tight, dude. Smoke. This is scary. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. We okay, got the this. tires got this. aren't doing anything anymore. It's just up to the winch now. There we go. There we go. Nice. Okay, winch it. Keep coming. Dude, you aren't even oh, doing yeah. anything. It's just the winch at this point. Oh, I know. I know. Trust me. Okay, here we go. Nice. Man. Give it a little gas. We, we made it. Okay, what do you we do now? What if you slip? See, I didn't quite here, think Here, I'll get out. I'll, I'll unlatch you here. Stay in the car. Keep the brakes on. Wait a minute, boss man. How are we going to get down? What if we just start like slowly, very, very slowly loosening the winch and then we'll just glide on down. Yeah, you look good. Oh. Just keep going. Uh, it's a little uh, uneven with your release there, but just keep going. I know I'm trying, man. I'm trying to make it even. It's difficult. It's not the smoothest, but it's going to make it. You're, you're about vertical there. Okay, here we go. As long as I don't drop, we should be good. Come on, make contact, make contact. There, there we go. go. I made it to the bottom. Nice. Okay, I'll disconnect winch and then... Heck, I think that was a pretty good test. Uh, boss man, what time are we supposed to be there? Uh, 10 minutes ago. We need to go quick. Oh, we're late. Yes, we are. By the way, I got a call from my attorney and the gas station is opening back up my two rental properties. I have those listed. And then the parking garage is going to be open too. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, yeah, I can't wait to be making some money again. Oh, Yui. There we go. How late are we? We're like 15 minutes late. Oh, no. Oh, no. Howdy, sir. My name's Spencer. And sorry, oh. we're late. We're ready to work. Do you two know the meaning of actually being on time to work? You're here 15 minutes early, not 15 minutes late. What the heck's your name? So, uh, Spencer. Sir. Sure. What's your name? My name Spencer. Is Spencer. Yep. What's your name, sir? My name is Sergeant Buck. And you will be referring to me as Sergeant. Is that do I make myself clear? Yes, Sergeant. Y yes, yes, sir. Y yes, yes, You in the blue. What's your name? Uh, Bossman. Bossman. You ain't looking like a boss. You look like a secretary. Anyways, Ooh, between you, you two, good. now you guys are already. Uh, no, 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 no. You will speak right. when spoken to. Yes, that sir. That is also do I make myself clear? Yes, yes ma'am. This Sergeant. Are you looking to get kicked out of this academy before I even start the day? N no, sir. I heard, ma'am. Do I look like a ma'am to you? 
No, no, right? No. That's what no. I thought. No. Oh, yeah, no. no Pack yeah. your bags, boys. We're going to camp. Here's some blindfolds for you so you don't know where the heck we're going so you can't run off back to town when I get done with you two. I gotta right. put this thing on? Yes, Sergeant. It, Thank you, Sergeant. You wear it like underwear. What do you think? It doesn't match my outfit. I don't care. Put it on. All right. Uh, how do I know where to go? Follow the sound of my annoying and very persuasively sound and soft voice. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, where are we going? Your worst nightmare. I don't think he likes us. Yeah. Uh, let's just stay quiet so then we don't get in more trouble. We're already late 15 minutes. I'm not the best swimmer, sir, but I, I can do it. Oh, we'll throw you in on the deep end to start. How about that? Uh, that's probably not the best deal, but I'll do it, sir. Do I hear a little bit of complaining coming from you? Uh, no, sir. No, sir. To serve and protect, you gotta be able to serve and protect yourself. That's right. And that's why we want to get trained by the best. Did I ask for your input? No, sir. We just know you're the best, sir. All right, you maggots, get your blindfolds off as our first test we're gonna make sure you guys can be endurance now one thing you're gonna to want to be able to do when you are a police officer is you're gonna to need to be able to chase down at people at any time at any given moment and keep up with them you need to have your endurance up so to wake you up this fine morning and for being 15 minutes late you guys get to try out the new olympic diving board you're gonna be diving off the edge of this cliff into that river and you're gonna go on a two mile hike around the outside skirts of this of this trail out here oh uh, how high are we high enough Woo! Here we go. All right, here we go. Let's go. Come on. All right, we got a two mile two, run, three, huh? Four, huh? Yes, we do. I hope you got your running shoes on this morning. Two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. Sir, you're pretty quick. Two, three, four. That sucks. Better keep up, boys. Ten, four. I'm saying with the boss man. You doing good back there? Oh, dude, I'm already sweating. What? Hey, yeah, what's, what time do we got to run? You guys got to run now. I'm just getting you guys warmed up for the real event. Oh, dang it. Jeez. <laughs> okay, okay. This guy's crazy old man. He's like 55 years old, and he can whip us Isn't into shape. Just there, you call me old? Uh, no. no, sir. You're in your prime peak physical condition. That is correct. Now keep up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Going up the hill now. Two. Come on, boys. Come on, come on, come oh, on. Holy biscuits. Here we go. I'm closing the gap, sir. Oh, indeed you are. Which way? Which way? Okay, we're going. I'm going to pass you. Okay, come on. Come on. He's running backwards. Holy biscuits. He's running as fast backwards. So fast? Come on. You got to be able to keep spend times. Yeah, man. I'm lagging behind. Dude, Sergeant there was able to run backwards faster than I could sprint. I know. This guy is a... They don't athlete. call me top of the class for nothing, do they? Hoo Jump over. Come on. All right. I think you boys deserve a little bit of a walk now. <sighs> okay. Fair enough. <sighs> Jeez. You got some water? Oh, we still walking? Here, boss man. Here's some water. Hang on. <laughs> no, no, no. Stop go. where you at. Where did you get that water? I scoop it up when we crossed the creek back there. By golly, that is some good hands. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. Running the marathon. Let's go. All right, come on. Through the creek bed. Yes, sir. Let's go. Come on, swim. I'm beating you. Beating you, Sergeant. Yeah, come on, Sergeant. We can swim pretty quick. Last time I checked, you got to be in multiple scenarios at multiple different rates. You waste too much energy. You're spoiling it. That's true. Yes, sir. Now, you guys already know the trail. Go on another run. I'll sit back here and wait for it. If you're not back within two minutes, you're out of the program. 10 4. Do it. Yes, sir. I'm going to beat you. Your other left. Dang it. Oh. Come on. I'm going to beat you, boss man. No, you, you got a minute 55. Come on. Six. Oh. Seven. Oh. Then we go. Way to go. Actually, I'm oh. actually surprised you two could even do that that fast. Dang, oh, we're right. under a minute, huh? Under a minute. You stopped for any water breaks, sissy? No, we didn't. And I beat boss man. You mean the I'm secretary? Tired. That's true, the secretary. Yes, sir. Well, Boss. here's the thing, you two. We got the first part of this phase completed, and you two are lucky enough that you made it through. So now, let's go back to our Jeep, and we're going to do a little bit of a driving test. Fair enough. Yes, sir. How are you doing, Boss Man? Are you all right? Yeah, I need a secretary. Break. Boss Man, are you okay? I, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Are you good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. This guy, he's crazy. They said he was going to be intense. I didn't expect this. Yeah, but at least... We know we'll be police officers if we can pass this. Yeah, you two still have enough okay. energy to be blabbing oh. your mouth like that, then you're going to have enough more run energy to keep running. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. yep, we'll zip it. Sergeant, sir, how are we getting up there? That's your idea, buddy. You ever thought about using your imagination? Oh, uh, let's see. All Think right. outside the box. Um. Yes, sir. I, I don't know how to do that. Yeah, this is pretty steep, man. Here we go, boss man. Okay, I'll here, you, you jump. Hand. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. You jump up on my shoulders. Three, two, one. Pull you up. There we go, boss man. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we At made this it. Part, up and over. Here. Okay. Now be careful, boss man. This is going to get pretty slippery. There's a lot of algae growing. It's going to be slick. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here, you jump up on me. Yep, here I come. Come on. 
There Come we on, go. you two. You're, the, you're getting there. All Come right, on, let's man. go. Let's go. Speed it up. Speed it up. Speed I'm it up. I'm coming. I'm coming. Dude, he's just treading water. Okay. All right. Come on, boss man. Grab my foot. Oh, I slipped. Secretary. Oh. There we go. We made it, boss man. Good job. Sergeant, we made it. Did you now? We did. How are you going to make it up? Do you need some help? Oh, I'm already good and fit for the competition. How did he do that? I don't know. He just <laughs> ran up it. Extra sticky shoes. Let's see here. Now we got the driving course of this section. I'm going to have to trust you guys with the keys to the gay board truck. Can I do that? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Sir, yes, yes sir. Because the way sir. I saw you pull a U-turn coming into the shop 15 minutes late, I don't even know if I want to let you sniff the steering wheel. Oh, you were watching? I didn't think you were... I didn't know you were I'm there, sir. I was right at you. I saw you coming from four blocks away. Fair enough, sir. <laughs> yes, I can I, drive, sir. I won't sniff it. I'm bad at smelling. Or at least, secretary. All right, sir. What would you like us to do? Off-road test? I don't know, Jake from State Farm. You tell me. Hey, all right. You do look like Jake from State Farm. He has a okay, point. Sorry, you're wearing like a polo jacket. Okay, sir. Yes, we I got, can drive. We got the secretary and Jake from State Farm. Now, what are we going to do about this? We're going to climb the rocks with the winch. That's right. Now, get your rear end in that driver's seat, and let's start doing our little driver's test. You guys have your license with you, right? Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah, I got my boat license. All then. Good enough for me. We're driving in water. Secretary, go ahead. You'll drive this first one. You can't call me secretary. Yes, I can. Do I turn on the lights? Wee you, wee you? Yeah. No, you cannot turn on the lights. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going up this thing? That is... Well, no, not this one. We're not that crazy out here. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, boss man. That's... Yeah, that's it, not... We're going up directly to the left of it where it's inverted. What? Can we skip... Can we skip <laughs> the next running drill if we can make it up this? <sighs> yeah, we like, don't no have to do running. another running drill. We make it up clean. Don't damage the vehicle. You know... Just when I thought I could trust you two, I denied myself. You can scale this mountain without rolling over once, and I am getting out of the vehicle because I am not putting my life in your hands. I'll let you boys get out of the running drill. There we go. There we go. There we go. Dude, the winch is yeah, going to do holes. I'm going to need that thing in my life. It's more stable than anything I've ever seen. Here we go. Here we go. Hop right, in. Hop man. in. Okay, I'm jumping in. We're going. Start winching. I'm winching. Here we oh, go. Oh, it's working, man. All right, I'll lead, lead to the right. Lead to the right. Yep, turn I'm to trying. the right. Here we go. Here we go. Here okay, we go. steering wheel back to the left because we might tip here. Come on. No, to we're the left. allowed to tip. There you go. There we go. There we go. We're making it. Winch, man. Winch. When you make it, you're close. Come, Come on, on, baby. Come on. Oh, this part's tricky. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Turn your wheel. I'm trying. Oh, did we just do that? We did it, boss man. Good work. Yes. All right, Sergeant, check that out. my eyes. Sergeant, look, no scratches. Nothing. Hang We're on, hang here. on, hang on. If we didn't roll it, you said no rolling. We didn't roll it. You are correct. You did not roll it. But I'm also looking at my roll pan, and I think you just scratched the living bejesus out of the back ass of the bumper. No one can see that. It's under the vehicle. Really? Is that your ideology of this? Yes, sir. No cop, no stop. Am I right? Jake, I'm going to need you to escort this here secretary to the bottom half of the mountain, and he is going to climb this little thing himself all the way to the top before he can come back and do these drills. Okay, fair enough. Want to be a smart aleck, we're going to put you in your place, Miss Secretary. All right, Secretary. He said to escort you here. You got to climb this mountain. I'm still Oh, no, no, boss. no, no. Not from there. He's what? doing the whole thing from the bottom up to the river. On foot? Jeez. Do I hear some complaining coming out of you, smart aleck? No, sir. Well, send no, you, Jake. Okay. Hey, that was now, actually you, sir, pretty cool. are doing a fantastic job. I should get insurance from you that you're doing so well. You get to skip out on your drill. As for your buddy, you just get to grab some popcorn and watch him struggle. Okay, fair enough. I would like to help him because I'm a team player. He's going to be my partner in crime, my deputy. But... Well, that's fantastic. You're already promoted. But here's the thing. He wants to be a smart aleck. He's going to learn the hard way on how to do things. That's true. Fair enough, Uncle Buck. All right, you're down there with him. Dang it. All right, guys, we got to catch boss, man. I shouldn't have called him Uncle Buck. So his name is Buck. He wanted to go by Sergeant. I was like, hey, he was kind of being nice to me. Maybe I call him Uncle Buck. Maybe I'll strike a tune with him. We'll be friends. But no, he didn't like it. Uh, boss, man, how do you get to this part? Man, you just have to run as fast as you can. Okay, there we go. Jumping up. Jeez, my hands are so tired. Where did he go? I don't know. I heard the car start. I thought you I saw him. Wait, okay, wait. Oh, maybe this is maybe this is one of those kind of like little things we have to try figuring out. So this tire tracks this way. Okay. Yep. Right. So maybe maybe he's trying to see if we're detectives. Yep. He went this way. I think I hear his engine, but I can't hear it over the waterfall. All right. Keep running. These are fresh tire tracks. We can get them. Yep. Oh. Okay. Okay. Comes this way. Where is he? Look for the jeep. Come on. It's just straight away. I don't see anything. Remember, he could veer off and hide in the bushes too. Oh, that's true. Do you see a jeep anywhere? No, I don't see nothing. 
The tracks aren't looking too fresh anymore. There's no way we lost him. He's definitely here. Smash I can smell that him. bush. Okay, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is definitely him. There he oh, is. Look at the Jeep. Sergeant. Sergeant. We found you. Well, most of you. You boys already got done doing some good detective work, but you haven't even found the person yet. How are you going to find somebody in rubble if you can't even find a Jeep? Let alone Where the person. Is he? Where is he, man? That's I true. Fair him. enough. If we're doing a search and rescue, we got to find the person. Okay, okay. He... We can hear him where talking, he but we don't know where he is. All right, I'm going to look. I got... I think I saw him. Boss man. Is there... Got you, oh, Sergeant. Look at you. Yeah. Jake from State Farm gets the golden trophy of the day. Very good. Uh, Sergeant, there, you're tough to find. For you. I got a little gift for you. Yes, sir. For me? No, not you, Secretary. Uh -huh. You haven't learned anything today. You get the Golden Hawk Award. Cool. This is awesome. Did you make it for me? No, I just made it for anybody. There we go. I'll take and that a home. And a sign-on bonus of $50,000. 50... Wait, what was? He just, he just got $50,000? You just got yourself a sign-on with $50,000 of the Silver Run Police Department. Now, on the other hand, as your little friend here, he's still got a little bit of work to go. Now, you being the team player that you are, you could still participate in said activities, but you are already certified as a former police officer of the Silver Run Police Department. I'm, I, I passed? I'm certified? Basically. Yes, sir. Thank you so this much. Is a, this is a program that was made on eBay, so I have no official rights, nor do I have an official certificate. I created mine off a of Craigslist. Okay, fair enough. I appreciate it. And yes, now, I will stay to help boss man. Now, secretary here. Yes, In order sir. for you to be certified, have you learned your lesson on being a smart aleck? Yes, sir. That sounds a little bit more like it. Now, here's the thing. I can't hear you. Can Are I put your mustache, you? sir? Boss man. I want to I wanna touch your mustache. It, it looks cool. Back to oh. the bottom of the hill for you. Oh. <laughs> You've been dealing with this stuff all day. All the way to the bottom. Yeah, sometimes he likes to be a smart aleck because, you know, we call him boss man. He thinks he's pretty cool, but he's got to yeah. learn his lesson. I get it. From here on out, you refer to him as secretary. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. That is correct. Hey, secretary, are you doing good down there? I'm tired. Well, good. Maybe that might actually teach you to shut your half-wit pie hole and maybe actually get yourself done. Get yourself some work in. Be yes, good for sir. you. In honor of tradition, I hereby grant you the official certificate of certification in the Silver Run Police Department. You are hereby certified to become a new officer of the sheriff district of this county. But... Along with you and Jake from State Farms, your final test, of which you will finally receive your badges in the morning, you two will need to spend one full night in the woods and be able to fend for yourself, feed yourself, and manage yourself without going crazy. Because if you two are going to be stuck together being partners, then I'm going to expect you two to be doing the best possible. We're going to be in a cave, correct, sir? That is correct. This is a cave, that's for sure. There's a huge boulder right in front of it. Oh, it was a railroad track at one time. I didn't see that. Oh, yeah, I hope. Oh, yeah, okay, wait, no, wait, you're right. That boulder is going to stop any trains from coming in here or anything like that. Yeah, you'd hope so. If you ever, if we're sleeping here tonight and you feel the tracks vibrating, that means the train's coming close. Okay, okay. I will definitely look out for that. But, man, I think we're going to wake up to our badges. That's going to be so cool. Oh, we got to make it back to the police station, or is he going to be here? It, it sounds like he's going to come here. I, I don't okay. know how he's even going to find us, but... You know, this guy, he's pretty impressive. He definitely has a way to find and, us. And I think he slipped some trackers on us when we were blindfolded in the car. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Uh-oh. Hear that? Oh, I do hear that. Is that... It's sirens. It's probably Sergeant. Okay. Uh... Wait, are we are we supposed to go out or is this a test? Maybe no, I think this is a test. He said to stay in the cave, stay hidden, say that he can't find us. So, yeah, we got to stay in here. Okay, okay. I turned off my flashlight. I'm in a bush. Yep. All right, guys, we got to get a little bit of firewood. We need a fire because it's going to get cold, damp in this cave tonight. They're saying, I thought it was like 30s tonight, which is cold. Oh, you hear that? Oh, geez. Is that a He's train? Coming. Oh, Come to side. Go to side. Not, watch out. Oh, holy biscuits. Sweet <laughs> Oh, Uncle Bach. All right, boys. Here's your two badges. You made it through the night. Thank you Thank so you much. You are now official sheriff department officers of the silver run police department i'd like to welcome you all to the team thank you for coming through my makeshift horrible academy and i wish you two the best and i think you guys are going to not hopefully not get a seizure from my lights all right yeah those are pretty bright lights but uncle buck thank you so much your training was great i think we're ready to go are you now well we're gonna see you hit the streets protect and serve those and uh be a good man in the community don't be like secretary here don't be a smart aleck every single time you just want to talk to somebody that's yes, ma'am, you can come over for coffee anytime. Hey, Spencer. Hey, boss man, how's it going? It's going good. How about you? Pretty good. Just doing some computer work. I know I'm ready to get on patrol today. 
All right, awesome. But I have good news before we start going, and that is that you made $600 from the parking garage. So here you go. That's it? Yeah, man. Okay, okay. It just opened again. You got to remember, That's true. you know, people, they're trying to save money as well with all the flood damage. So 10 4. Hey, better than nothing. All right, I finished up some all my office work today. Let's get on patrol. All right, let's do it. But actually, before we go, I was thinking, let's drop off this Tahoe at Steve's place. So, want to tow it with your tow truck? Yeah, we'll take the yeah, we'll take the tandem axle here. Oh, I parked it in the bushes. Dang it. Yep, this thing is not moving at all. So you'll definitely need to go to it. Here we go, boss man. Hook her up. All right, boss man, follow me. I'm heading down to Steve's. All right, I'm gonna be taking the six door down. We made it to Steve's. I wonder if he's working this morning. All right, boss man, where should I put it? I can't obviously back it up too much. Let's check his garage. Maybe the space in there. Let's uh, see. Let's see. It's Wait. pretty full. What the heck is this? I don't know. I could Wait, use is... this tow truck for my business. Why does he have a tow truck? And a Peterbilt. Man, this thing is nice. This thing ain't cheap. Like, I see some scratches on it, but it, yeah, it still looks to be in pretty good condition. Is he open like a rival business to yours? I hope not. I don't see any, like, badging on it. Does it say Steve's towing or something? I don't see anything on it. Yeah, nothing, but it is. This is very nice, man. Well, we'll have to ask him about it, but yeah, I guess we'll just leave our truck outside because it's not going to fit in here. All right, where are you meeting the guy? Where's the buyer at? He has a house in town. All right. Any news? He's down to buy it, and yes. he'll pay 60000 max. 60. I, I tried seventy, and there, there was no chance. Okay. Fair enough, man. Sixty. that sounds good to me. 30 each? Yeah. Okay, so are we are we good with that? Should I make the deal? Yeah, go ahead and shake his hand. I'm, I'm happy with it, and get her okay. done. And he will be keeping this back rack as well. So that's we're gonna fine. That. That's fine. I have really nowhere else to put it, so that's all good. I grabbed the rest of the things out. Here's all the phone chargers we had in there and a few other things we forgot okay perfect so yeah it's officially sold and here's your thirty thousand. yes there we go 30 grand that feels good okay see you later old clifford this is silver run police department how can i help you so the deal on the call is somebody was trespassing at one of the watchtowers one of the park rangers found somebody there and they're kind of giving the park ranger a hard time he left and told the guys that he had called the police blah 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 so it's not too far of a drive and let's get up there and take control of the situation all right and you say it's not a far drive but i'm looking at this map we got a ways to go as police officers we should probably know this town like the back of our hand but we are kind of new to it so we're learning on the job so thank goodness for uncle buck's training boss man we what would we do without him oh no guys the train stopped us First off, boss man, where are your lights? I know, I know. I just turned them on. Come on. Okay, we're Let's only in a go. code two. We just gonna have lights on, no sirens. That way people kinda get out of our way. Uh, boss man, do you know where you're going? I've never been here before. Man, it's right up there. This is where the road ends. Come on, we better catch them red-handed. We didn't have our Remember, sirens on. You gotta be paying attention, well, like, at all times. It could be someone up there. It could be armed or something. We never know. They, yeah, they could be nice people or they, they could be meanies. Oh, no, nobody's in here. No one... I did all that walking for nothing. Dang it. It looks like they busted open one of these crates. Let's see. Is anything missing in this crate? It's got a lock on it still. Well, whatever was supposed to be in here clearly isn't anymore. Yeah, I'm going to get on the phone with the game warden. Send him some pictures of this place. See if... You know, because I, I, he's the one who frequents these watchtowers, so he knows what they're supposed to look like. It sounds like the game warden said, I took a picture of this. Pretty much all their fire watching technology was in there. So like telescopes, binoculars, and then a bunch of like little gauges and readouts and moisture readers, stuff like that. Okay. We need to definitely investigate around the area. Maybe we can find like a trail or something. I think I got somebody running. You see someone? Ah, I can't see anymore. We, the bushes are blocking. Let me get a better view. Yep. There he is. Got him. Confirmation. Okay. Let's start going there, man. Oh, no. Uh, boss man, that's not going to work. Okay. I'm going to make a run for it. You stay in the car. Hopefully, I can catch him. Okay. I'm going to try off-roading here somewhere. I used to run track back in high school. Here we go, boys. Oh, my goodness, guys. I'm gassed. Jeez. I need a few more days to get into shape, but I think I see somebody in that watchtower. The trail kind of led right to it. All right. I got the binoculars. Hey, there's a guy up there. He's looking my way. Dang it. Okay, I don't know if he sees me. I'm kind of in a bush right now. Jeez, okay. We'll have to sneak up there. Uh, radio in, boss man. What's oh, up? Boss man. Uh, yeah, dude, I, I found him. Uh, boss man, we got a runner. I got a runner. I am north, eastbound, westbound. Where is he? Where is I'm he? I'm right behind him. I'm going to tackle him. Freeze, dirtbag. Gotcha. 
All right, boss man, I got him. I got him up against the tree here. Got okay, him. okay. I'm trying to cuff uh, him. Put your hands behind I'm your back, buddy. At, man, I'm not good at finding you. There we go. I got him cuffed. I'm going to send you my location. Connection is terrible up here, though. Get moving. We're walking back up to the watchtower. Sit right here on this bench. But yeah, boss man, you should be able to get my location right now. So it's just a guy. He's wearing all black, like a black like onesie jumpsuit looking thing. It says Volvo on it. Who knows? Yeah, just come to my location, man. Boss man, did you read that? Copy over. Oh, no. My walkie's not working. Dang it. Boss man, can you hear me? Over. Nothing. Okay. Do not make a run for it. Freeze. Sit right there. Sit right there. I got back up on my way. Dang it. He's making a run for it. He must have broke the cuffs or something. He's got slippery wrists. Oh, no, guys. He went into these bushes. I can't see him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Dang it. Oh, no. Oh, no. The longer time goes by, the light more likely is to be gone. Well, guys, I've been searching for about three, four minutes now. I don't have a copy with my partner, boss man, and I don't see this guy. I think he got loose. Next time, I'm going to tighten those handcuffs down quite a bit tighter. Well, I'm walking this path. I don't have a copy with boss man, but I kind of heard a car somewhere around here. It's getting quite a bit louder, too. I just walked down from the top of the mountain. No, oh, jeez. What is he doing? Boss man, boss man. Spencer, is that you? Yeah, that's me back here, dude. What the heck are you doing? I'm coming down. Okay, do you, can you hear me on the radio or what the... Oh, okay. Hey, is your radio working or what? No, my radio is not working, man. Yeah, mine died too. Dang it. Okay, we got to figure out how to get better radios. Well, last time I talked to you, I had him in custody, and then I was trying to get you on the radio, and once he figured out you weren't coming, he made a bolt for it, and I lost him. Are you kidding me? You lost the suspect? Yeah, our first suspect. I lost him. Boss, man, what the heck are we doing, man? Man, I already have it attached. Like, how else would we get up? Yeah, we need to go to town. Like, I know you like to drive this thing off-road and use the winch, but come on. Man, look at how good it is. Yeah, it's super good, but you weren't able to get there in time. Ah, uh, it's okay. It's okay. I won't use it for going downhills as much then, but going uphills, it's the most efficient way. Well, we just got off the phone and I rented out the house for 2,000 bucks for five days. Howdy, howdy. We got to get to work here today, man. Wait we got to renovate this place. What are you wearing? Well, what are you looking at? Shorts and like boots? That looks kind of weird, man. Do, do you want me to wear like sandals or? No, you should wear like, well, if you're going to wear shorts, wear like athletic shoes, like tennis shoes or wear jeans and nice boots. But anyway, what are you doing? Okay, so we are going to be, I rented out a few different things and yep. we're going to be renovating this place. I know you've been complaining about the entrance every single day since we moved here. Yeah, it's terrible so, and it, everything's so uneven. Yeah, yeah. I want to smooth all that out and really make this place look good. Hopefully we can get some of this grass to actually grow in properly because right now it's really just splotchy over here. I'm thinking gravel the whole thing, man. Just rock it. Do you have the money for that? Yep. We'll take it right out of your budget. My budget? That's right. I don't know how we're going to make the road less steep though, man. Well, I think a big thing we got to do is just this area down here. True, 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 true. Right? Yeah. Like it's just if you look it's it's just not good yeah we can smooth this out a bit it's not it's not too bad and then we have some erosion problem this turn right here is pretty steep so maybe we can loop it around but yeah flatten off i think we flatten off our parking area we put rock on it we do a bunch of decorations and then you said you wanted some trees what trees yeah so over here i have marked oh. some of them so far Jeez, you already marked them up yeah man i got my trusty old spray paint here i actually have to mark another tree you can come watch me all right so we're gonna draw should i do an x yeah yep just so i x can see marks it. the spot there we go nice okay any other trees let's stand up top of here so we have somewhat of a view towards the city now maybe we can take out some trees down there and we can have a really cool view from up here yeah like we don't own one of those but i, I really know but it would be a shame if a chainsaw just ran into one and then it fell down yeah just imagine Wait, make it a different color like... different color different color oh you want a different color yeah okay. make it like yellow there you go put the x there okay and now get back your pink can Oh, somebody wants to put the yellow there. All right, we'll have to chop it down. I just fired up the chainsaw. Oh, sorry, it's running. Here, I'll try and oh. shut it off. Yeah, yeah, see if you can just get that thing oh, turned. The oh, the wind blew whoa. really hard there. Okay, oops. Okay, all right, let's see what the view looks like now. Oh, yeah, that looks a lot better. You can see into town more. Yes, sir. We don't want to, like, deforce the entire area, but... Hey, just definitely. our line of the view. Yeah, and again, we just went for the one that had the X. X marks the spot. Anyways, enough jimmer jammering. We got to get moving. Here you go, big cat. Back her up. All right. Here we go. Okay, this is the worst backing up job I've ever seen. Just don't hit the fence. You got all the room in the world. Man, I'm good. Actually, I'm yeah, you're pretty good. Okay, crank it. Crank it. I'm good, man. I'm good. Shifting gears. Here we go, big cat. This is a pretty heavy load. That packer is pretty heavy.
by the way guys i finally did the gas station is starting to make money again so it's been over for two three days roughly and jeremiah has been working really good so i've made eight hundred dollars since it's been open how much for the parking garage you're gonna be getting paid seven hundred dollars here you go they real better than the other day okay so how about we get this semi out of the way yeah get the semi out of the way i think i'm gonna run skid loader you run okay the packer i think you're pretty good at that aren't you yeah yeah i should be good with that can we start just right at the entrance oh. where we always get stuck that's true let's take out those trees real quick they'll all start chainsawing okay this guy's little one will take out that and then yeah this one it's nice to have a tree close to the building but also kind of dangerous there we go timber she's coming down okie dokie so anything that has a red x you want down huh uh that's pink in my eyes but yes okay pink 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 whatever there we go i got some extra material around here there just kind of dump it out there that's smoothing it out a bit man this bucket is huge way more it holds way more than i ever thought it would and i uh i made too big a pile here or we'll shave it off here holy smoke yeah you made a big pile my bad my bad as you can tell some time has passed and we got a pretty slicked up boss man this looks good there, we, there go. we go oh that was pretty awesome all right let's get some of the rock here scoop it all up okay what are you doing boss man i'm testing out our new ground okay it's not done i'm spreading some rocks okay i found another rock pile up top that could be breaking okay yeah breaking yeah i'll break it up some more and then it yeah it, uh, it's quite a bit of rock that you can spread so we'll get busy doing that and then we gotta work up top here too there we go i broke up a few more rock deposits spread out the gravel and smoothed it out we've been busy the past couple hours as you can tell i've been spreading some rock boss man's gonna come up here with the roller smooth it out because i'm not the best at spreading the rock here and then we gotta have a change of plans this big old tree's in the way i'm thinking we're gonna move the driveway over here it's a bit smoother the natural flow it makes sense over here and then drop right in so let's chop the tree down first we gotta spray paint an x on it here we go timber she's coming down what's really nice too is all the leaves come off right away here we go it is much much later the sun is going down and boss man and i are going to bring back the equipment we rented and we're kind of testing out the driveway so i put down the bigger rock and then we we ordered some smaller rock and then with the roller packed it in so it literally looks like cement boss man the driveway worked pretty good awesome and finally we have some lights here too so any kind of like later patrols we aren't going to be driving back in the dark that's right i mean it, we it would have taken a lot more material to build this out more it does like start to slope down pretty quick but it is i would say 10 times better than what it was i'm coming boss man i'm coming wait up wait up we gotta go man someone reported there being a police officer driving like crazy on the road and we're the only cops who should be in town that's true who called it just a good citizen yeah yeah and uh, oh it looks like we have two calls now about that okay okay he must be interfering with a lot of people and it's sporadic driving or he just is acting like a police officer yeah i don't know if it's a real okay, cop okay. on a call from like out of state but we gotta see now a, few, a couple days ago us driving around in this i guess you could have said that we were police impersonators too but now we're certified police officers we got the badges yep that's him there we go okay it's a green 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 something something kind of looks like a towel uh, from here man it does look hey, like hey, a cop stay on the road. stay on the road i know i know i'm trying Good to get that and driving play. trying to get the play with a radar it's not picking up all right turn on the sirens maybe he can hear us there you go those are loud come on he is not budging at all okay either he has ear earplugs in and he's blind because he can't see his lights and he can't hear us or gosh i don't know man he i think he's We're, running from us yeah it does feel like that now do remember he does have the lights on so he might not even notice that there's already the lights behind him that's true I, that's a good point that's you know what didn't think about that but he should have heard those sirens man unless he's blaring the music he's turning around he's turning around okay uh yep put it in reverse block him, him off. off okay he I'm obviously him sees us come on he obviously pull sees over. us pull over okay he seems to be stopping freeze dirt bag freeze oh what wait the boss heck? man it's steve it is steve steve what the heck is this our cop car oh yeah it is i was just taking it for a test drive and when we were trying to like stop you what were you thinking oh you guys were trying to stop me okay steve be honest did you know we're the only cops in town and you know we're kind of buddies and so you went on a police chase for a little fun come on maybe maybe yeah yeah boss man i called it that's what he was doing he knew it was us and he knows that we're in that car so he can get away with it kind of kind of we might yeah, actually have to do a little report on this because a lot of people called you in man why i buy I, like it i fixed the car up for you guys i thought i was allowed to take it on yeah. a test drive spencer we can't report this if we report this they're going to know that we let some civilian have our working cop car like we're going to get in true. so much okay trouble. we can't we're, we're a little conflict of interest here we're going to figure this thing out but hey yeah uh, Oh, it looks pretty good. It does. What did you do to it, Steve? 
No, oh, I changed the tires. I did a little paint job. Just spiffied it up a little bit. All right, Stevie, sign right here. And yeah, this is just a warning. You're very close to getting a ticket, but we understand. All right, sounds good. I, I could do that. Okay, perfect. Boss man, am I going to drive this back? All right, thanks, Steve. We'll file that. Put it in our cabinet. Dibs on the Tahoe. I'm going to drive this back. Steve, you got to call an Uber or something, uh, man. Okay, no, okay. Steve, come with me. We'll go to your shop and grab one of your oh, vehicles. Okay, we can't be too nice okay. to him. Come, come to the shop, Spencer. Okay, fair enough. We, we can help him out. He's helped us. Did you enjoy your ride there, Steve? Of course I did, but uh, Garrett was kind of driving a little weird. Maybe he should have been pulled over. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking, following you guys. But yeah, is that your first time in the back of a cop car? Yeah, it is. It's well, kind of cool. It's not really a car. It's pretty unique. But again, thanks for completing this. Our Jeep here It's perfect. Yeah, no worries. Hey, Steve, before we leave, what the heck is this? We came in here the other day, picked some up, and we saw this thing. Oh, I was just thinking of uh, may maybe upgrading a little bit and uh, giving it to you as a gift. Wait, what? Giving it to me? Yeah, I Man. think you deserve it. Why would you give it to me? Why wouldn't I give it to you? So you're going to give him a $100,000 truck just like that? Yeah, I mean, I'll, we also had that little mishap before, so you know what? I feel kind of bad. All right, Fran, this is really going to help my business, man. I, I appreciate it, and I really don't know what to say. But if you ever need something towed, just give me a call. Oh, sounds good. Is it good to go? Are you still working on it or? I think I have to work on it maybe a little bit, but I mean, not too much longer. All right. Well, I guess give Spencer a call or give me a call when it's done and we'll definitely come on down. All right. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. See, uh, I'll give you a hug, man. I appreciate it so much. Basically, it's you. in gravy. I don't know what to say. You're just speechless, man. All right, man. Good work. But are you thinking what I'm thinking the whole drive back? I'm trying to figure out how Steve can afford all that stuff. Yeah, I was so surprised that he's giving you a... To like, he has no reason to. You Here. weren't even his boss. I was his boss. Yeah, I'm going to look up a few things on him. Search his last name on our database and see, like, what all things he owns, how much land, and, like, how many vehicle registrations are in his name. I'd be kind of curious. Yeah, I feel bad. Like, I don't want to, like, think, any, like, poorly of the guy, you know? Like, he's being nice. He's He's been so good to us. He's been so helpful. Absolutely. But, like, things just aren't adding up. Hey, boss man, come take a look at this. Classified? What? Yeah, yeah, it's classified. This is weird. Okay, that would mean, like, some other agency got involved. Like, the file's locked. Like FBI or something? That'd be crazy. Hey, it could be FBI. It could be CIA. It could be so many different things. I don't remember seeing anything about him having a criminal history when I hired him. Maybe he is an agent. This whole time, he's been undercover. Let's keep tabs on him. Okay, so you're just gonna go... Yeah, man, I gotta patrol the streets. What do you think we're doing around here? Just drinking donuts and coffee y yeah okay Wait, drinking donuts yeah i don't drink my donuts i, I saw you donuts. put it in a blender one time anyway all right i'm going to patrol okay well let's cruise the streets this is my second time patrolling first time obviously in our new police tahoe here so we'll just kind of show it off honestly people can see us get familiar and then show ourselves that you know we're watching the neighborhoods keeping an eye out for everybody sounds like there was an incident about some sort of vehicle in the water at sundown beach yeah it's right next to the pier okay here it is uh i'm gonna have to radio this one in this is kind of interesting all right so you're gonna stay down here and i'll start pulling yep 10-4 here we go is it coming yeah you're all good i might help steer just a little bit Ah, uh, the steering's locked up dang it okay well it, again it's pretty light hopefully some of this water drains out and we can just pull it through i'm gonna try fast winching okay wait 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 slow down slow down what? slow down what what do you see there's something there's something in the forest over there to the right of us this way no the other way oh my other right gotcha sorry what is that you know what i think when we were chasing you know we were chasing the guy that got away blah 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 i think i remember driving by this but i was in such a rush i, I, I took a double look at it but couldn't see what it was yeah what the it's a silo yeah yeah it's something man that's for sure does anybody live here knock knock is that my phone or your phone going off yeah uh, i think that's yours no it's not mine oh hello hello hey steve this is uh big spence here we're what are we calling about oh i have the tow truck ready for you whenever you're ready oh 10-4 yeah, yeah yeah we'll be on our way oh sounds good all right see you then all right, boss man, follow me. We're going to pick up the tow truck. All right, I'll be hopping in. Hey, you need something out of the gas station real quick? Yeah, I, I, I could do it for a breakfast pizza. There we go. I know boss man likes a good old breakfast pizza. Here you go. All they had was uh, Canadian bacon. Oh, okay. Works for me. Oh, I hate it. It's terrible. But anyway. What? We love Canadians, man. Sausage is way better, man. Uh, uh, I don't know. They're both pretty good. Do you think Steve is actually going to give me this car, this tow truck for free? Man, he called you over. He must be. I know. I just can't believe it. Hey, Steve. Good morning, man. Howdy, you guys. How are you guys doing today? Good, good. Pretty good. So this I is it? 
Yeah, I fixed it all up for you. I changed some of the flat tires. I filled it up on some gas for you. I repainted the whole truck because there were a lot of scratches for some reason. Jeez. I fixed the transmission. I did everything for you. Okay. Did you change, did you change the deck? I remember it being wood before. This is like a diamond plated one. Yeah, I definitely evolved it a little bit. All right. Well, there you go. You did this That's in good. like two days, dude. That's your beast. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a pro at this. When do you sleep? Never. All right. Can I give you anything for it? Just a crispy high five is all I need. All right. Uh, crispy high five coming up. Here we go. Nice. Thanks, Steve. I'll talk to you later, I guess. Oh, my phone's blowing up. Oh, I just got payment from the gas station. Let's see what we got. $900. That was from the past two days. Pretty good. And speaking of that, boss man, where's our parking garage money? Yep. Come in here with me. I was waiting for it. All right, it looks like we had a pretty good day. Here's another $900. Perfect. Maybe I can make $5 if I report my neighbor. What? Report your oh. neighbor, earn $5. Get on the computer. Let's figure out that silo house. All right, Spencer, I got some info. Okay, I couldn't find anything. Yeah, so I found it. It seems like it's owned by a bank. So, you know, someone wasn't paying or whatever. The bank took it over. Okay, and that's good news. Yeah, kinda. now the bank just kind of has it. They're looking to sell it. Hey. And we, hey, if you want to give them an offer or something, you're more than welcome to, but we can go check it out. Yeah, let's go actually check it out this time now that we know the bank owns it. So it's under foreclosure. Yes, exactly. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. And who was the previous owner, did it say? It doesn't say any information besides that it was someone not paying the bills. I'm assuming they're now in jail or something. I, I, I don't know. Some of this some financial situation okay. that happened. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, we could take this off the bank's hand. Did they say when it was built or what? No, I it didn't say much. I also wasn't really looking for that. Look at all but. the trees. I mean, these are mature trees. Now, there's quite a bit of brush here that, you know, grows in like two, three years. But realistically, like, how did they build this thing? You know? I feel like they intentionally made it so it was like in the forest. I don't think they wanted a path, but I'm assuming if you do end up buying this, that we're going to do some work to make you a driveway. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to need a driveway. I mean, it only makes sense. I want to be simple living. This is pretty nice. Yeah, I would buy this, dude. It's I think looking pretty good. The Let's power bill is off right now. I was trying to flip some lights. Nothing's going. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't even Which, see a light switch. That would make sense. They don't really need power. Nobody's living here. Uh, here's some fruit. That looks fake fruit. Okay, interesting. Okay, let's check up here. I'm sure there's no basement uh, unless there's a secret door. That would be really cool. So this is a living room. Super simple. Literally a silo. This is awesome. Looks like I can sleep here with you. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, that better. There better be two bedrooms. There. There's okay, two different perfect. beds in here. There's the master bedroom, and then there. Yeah, that's the guest bedroom right there. There's three beds in this place. That's awesome. And then sink and a tub. There you go. I'll leave you in there. Okay. Uh, what bank was it? Oh, I didn't check. I really should pay more attention to the I'm details guessing there, on these. There's only like two banks in town. Capital One and then oh, I forget the other one. Here it is. Silver Run Savings. Yep. Perfect. There All right. we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That van almost hit us, dude. I think that's Steve's van. Is it? It looks like, it looks like the one from his shop. Dude, that was, I looked at my rear view mirror and I'm like, ah, oh, like I was going slow in the first place as he texted driving. Oh, I hate seeing that. Yeah, he, he's not the best driver, I must say. All right, man. Nice work. We got it for 25. Paperwork there in hand. There you go. All right. Well, sounds like we have a big job ahead of us now because we got to get a driver built there. Oh, no. Look to your oh, side. Oh, look at what the cat dragged in. Hey, boys. What is up? Long, Why time, you... long time no see. Yeah, we saw what you, you on the road. You almost hit me. Uh, oh, did, oh, did I? Yeah, you yeah, were probably on your phone or something. I, I did not see you guys. Yeah, you were yeah. on your phone. I just want to driver. You don't see a cop car in front of you. Like, come on, everyone looks out for cop cars. Okay, my bad, my bad. I'll, I'll, I know that for next time now. Okay, well, wh why are you here? What's up? I just wanted to report one of my neighbors. Yep. Oh no. Oh. You Spencer. get five bucks if you do that, man. Do you wait? You don't even have any neighbors. I've been to yeah. your place. Okay. Okay. What they you do? Got what me. they I, do? Come on. It was a noise complaint. It was a noise complaint. Noise okay. complaint. For for who? What do you What's mean? What's the for real who? reason you're here? You don't have neighbors. Because... There's a roller coaster beside you and open land. Okay, fine. You got me. I was I was just feeling kind of kind of lonely and I missed you guys. Ah. Uh, okay. I see. Well, we're going to get a forestry mulcher and we could actually use a hand around here running a chainsaw. Heck, if you just want to man the station real quick and if a call comes in, let us know. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Well, guys, this is a really, really good deal. A thousand dollars to rent this beast for a day. Like I should almost start a business doing this for people. If all I got to pay is a thousand bucks a day, cause this is like a half a million dollar machine or something crazy like that. 
I spent a lot of money today, man. Yeah, well, again, you got 50k the other day, so. And I just bought a house, and I think I, we got a pretty good deal for it. That is true. I wonder what I could sell that house for. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know. You already trying to sell it? Oh, I'm like, just saying, like, you know, how good a deal did I get? Oh, watch out. Steve, come on now. What the heck's he doing? Is that our cop car? Steve. Oh, you guys are back already. Hey, I know we're cops, but we don't always need to be doing donuts. Oh, but like, I thought I would have a fun time while you guys were out. Well, boys, we did a good job. Steve, good thing you had that suit on, man. You were in there tearing it up. You're all sweaty and dirty, but I guess that's why he's got the beard on. Yeah, exactly. I came prepared. That's right. All right, boss, man, this place looks good. Maybe a little shape in with a skid steer. But for now, I can pull my truck in. I can pull my car in, do my do my thing. And I think this is a pretty cool place. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to work. Get my work bag right here. All my stuff's packed up, ready to go. Oh, there's my frog. He makes my day. He's smiling at me. I like to smile at my picture of my frog, too. Oh, somebody's here. Hey, good morning, sir. How's it going? You're a delivery man? Okay. Uh, you got an interesting delivery vehicle. This is pretty cool. Uh, who sent this? It says on the paper. Uh, let's see what the paper says. Uncle Buck sent it? Old Uncle Buck, huh? Okay, uh, that's, you don't know anything else. Okay, uh, keys are in it. All right, I'll get it backed off. All right, let's fire it over here. Holy biscuits. Wait, this thing's a diesel. It's blowing black smoke out the back. Look at that engine back there. Holy biscuits. There we go. Let's back her off. Well, all the delivery man told me is that Uncle Buck is sending it to us and he didn't really say too much more. This is cool. Yeah, it's an all blacked out, lifted, any level lift, huge tires, mud tires like UTV. Where did you buy this from? I didn't buy it. Do you know anything about this? Be serious. No, I don't. Well, maybe. Like, I got an email from Buck. Did tell me he was going to get something delivered. I didn't know it was going to be this. This is cool. What do you think this but, is for then? I uh, man, this is... For the police station. One, yeah, exactly. We got to put some police lights on here. Get this thing upgraded. All right, let's jump out here. All right. Uh, I don't let's see him. It. He might be in his office. Steve. Stevie, Stevie, where are you? All right. Uh, I guess we could send him a text message. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It seems like he's never here in the mornings, but he's always here in the afternoons. Yeah, like he gets a job done, but I wonder if he has like some other friends that we don't know about. Here we go, guys. We're heading out. So Bossman's going to be in the lead here. And that's what's kind of nice. We're a small town and I have a tow truck business and we're police officers. So we got a call. Dispatch sent us out and there's a feller's... I don't know what happened. Sounds like the steering went out and he's dangling on the side of the bridge, which is not good. All right, good. There's not a big pile of people. Oh, there's somebody behind us, but we should be good. I'll keep this closed here. Yep. All right. Go ahead, assess the scene a little bit. Tell me exactly what you're thinking. I'm going to get backed up, it looks like. Okay. Yeah, keep it coming. All right, stop that car. Stop that car. Yep, sir. You're going to have to wait up for us. All right, yeah, this is a busy area, so we got to do this thing quick. Yep. Okay, let's see. Dang, that's a nice truck. All right, here we go, big cat. We're winching it. All oh, right. no. Oh, geez. Oh, no. Oh, uh, that's not a good start. I thought it was going in the second I saw it. I think that, but I think we got it from here. We might just get a little hung up. Yeah, you got to get over this guardrail. I Come don't on know. That tire. It's not safe to get in, but once it is, boss man, I want you to get in, try and turn them wheels. Jump in it. Try and fire it up. The engine should start. Okay. Here yep, we go. There we go. Okay. 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 All right. Reverse. Yep. Right there. Reverse. See if that does anything. Oh, geez. Oh, man. I have no traction. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Now. Keep pulling me. Keep pulling. There we go. There we go. I got the okay. wheel straight. Okay. 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 I'm going to. Yeah, we're making it. I'm right. hopping out. Just it's hold on. Hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Jump out. I was going to say jump out, man. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Just pull a little bit and we'll get the sink positioned on. This was the first call we did, boss man, with the old Peterbilt. It turned out pretty good. I hate these drivers in this town, man. I know. We need, we need to start giving them fines. Yeah. They think that they can do whatever they want because the police have not done much before we moved here and that's changing now. All right, let's head back to the station. And then it sounds like the driver of this is getting released from the hospital. So he'll probably come pick up his truck. We honestly should just drop it off at Steve so we can fix the steering. Yeah, but hey, we can't just assume he wants Steve's, right? Like, this is not our dealership True. anymore. This is just the general public. All right, boss man, just drive it right up and off there. It looks good. All right, here she comes. Do we have any news about this gator yet or still haven't found that owner? No word, man. No word. It's kind of a mystery, but after, what is it, three months, we're just going to put it on on auction let's see what we got in the mail oh we got two checks nice we rented out the one house for another week 2500 bucks and then the gas station 
Oh, gas station made three grand in the past four or five days, it looks like. Well, another day, another dollar. Let's get to work, boss man. All right, I have some money for you I from will... the parking garage. I was thinking the same thing. Here you go. Guess how much it is? If you guess it right, I'll double it. $1,236.47. Oh, man. It was 48 cents. Oh. But we'll, we'll round it up. I'll just give you two grand. Okay, I appreciate it. I, that was a pretty good guess, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I, I'd say it was. The closest you were going to get. Okay, fair and yeah, that's true. One cent off. I got a call from Steve. And he said that the oh. vehicle is ready to be picked up. Honestly, I forgot about it. He kind of took a little longer. All right, is he going to be here this time? Uh, no, it sounds like he's not going to be here. I think we called him, man, morning. He's never here. Yeah, you're right. He literally called me saying it's ready, and he won't even show his face. Holy biscuits. What the heck? He did an amazing job. I thought that was a different thing sitting here. I was like, that's not ours. This is the same vehicle. Jump in, pull it out, man. Let's get it in the sun. Oh, look at the light bar. That was my on the, my, on the top of my list of what I wanted him to add. A good old light bar. He's got a SWAT wow. sticker on the side, a 50 cal on top, BFGs. Those are huge tires. Oh, my goodness. Is this lifted even more? Yeah, man. He definitely raised it up. Oh, my goodness, man. This is sick. I, I love the paint job, too. It's like black was like you couldn't see anything, and now you can see the decals really good. It's obvious that we're police officers. We have like a topper in the back. It looks like a pickup truck in the back. Oh, look at the screen in the back there. Here, let Never. me jump in. Wow. Look at this. Yeah, you can get a camera view. Here's the back back seat and it's barred in so if we pick somebody up then we actually can like transport them in this vehicle which is kind of cool and the doors lock really good and you know obviously we have the bars and the windows and everything so that is secure we have backup cameras monitor up top on the turret gunner that's pretty cool man he's got the bill right here dang it what's it say 8500 bucks oh, okay well, i'm guessing we're splitting it uh you know what boss man i'll take the whole thing wait actually i'll take the whole thing it's on me big cat Wow, thank you, man. You, man, you, I don't think you've ever paid a there full bill before. Money on the table, 8500 All righty, thank you. Honestly, I thought awesome. it was going to be quite a bit more. Yeah, for how much work he did, like, this is impressive. Well, let's see what this thing can do. Let's take her off road, big er Yeah, top speed. What are we at? Right now at 80. I'm running out of road. I'm on the wrong side. Okay, lights on, lights on. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Yeah, I got up to 90 there. Looks like we could probably get to 100. Okay, so this should be a good test. Yeah, just take her right up the creek, man. It's handling this like no problem. It's like we're kind of, it feels like we're sitting on like a cloud. For how rough the ground is under us, this is impressive. Yeah, that's pretty smooth. Think we can make it over this bridge from here? Should be able to. See if it has the power. Just don't hurt the bridge. Oh, we might be a little short. Okay, get, some, get, get some momentum. Here we go. Up and over. No problem at all. Wow, that was way too smooth. So what do you think of the vehicle? I think we're never... Well, another thing too, if we have a flood like we had back at Goldcrest, this is going to be playing a pretty big role. And then like going to the pond to the left. There's a pond there. Okay. Let's hope it's not too deep. And right now it's doing really good off-road. And another big thing is we can technically fit... Three in the front, three that we can fit nine people here, like with seatbelts. Oh, we're literally in a pond right now because the exhaust is so high up. There we go. You should be good, and the intake's really high too. In 60 episodes, I went from a worn out limo and zero dollars in the bank to owning multiple properties with a net worth of over a hundred grand. This is just the start of my challenge to become a millionaire.